the honor. We give you adoration. Go ahead and thank him for great and mighty things that he has been doing in our midst. And thank him for what he said to do here tonight. For the testimonies, for the healings, for the deliverances. Lift up your voice and thank him. Father, we are grateful, we are thankful, we are appreciative of you. We give you glory, we thank you for what you have done before, what you are set to do tonight. We give you glory. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. John chapter number 2, verse number 11. John chapter 2, verse 11. John chapter number 2, verse number 11. Said this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Canaan of Canaan of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. We are going to lift up our voice and ask God to fill and to saturate this dome, this sanctuary with his glory tonight. The manifestation of the glory of God is the explosion of the supernatural, the explosion of the miraculous. Where the glory of God is, groanings are terminated. The glory of God is the answer to the groanings of men. See, at time we say, oh Lord, fill this dome, fill this sanctuary with your glory tonight. By your glory, terminate every shame. Terminate every pain. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, we ask for the manifestation of your glory here tonight. Father, fill this dome with your glory. Fill this sanctuary with your glory tonight. Saturate and overwhelm this arena. This sanctuary with your glory tonight. Father, terminate every shame. Terminate every pain by your glory. We ask, oh God, Father, saturate, penetrate, and overwhelm this arena, this dome, this sanctuary with your glory, the glory of your presence. Father, terminate every shame. Let there be explosion of the supernatural. Let there be explosion of the miraculous. Heal the sick, deliver the oppressed by the manifestation of your glory tonight. In the name of Jesus John chapter number 19 verse 30 John 19 verse 30 John chapter number 19 verse number 30 when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar he said it is finished and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost look at the number say it is finished God's servant said the cross is the cure for the cost. The Bible says, cost is everyone that hangeth on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham may come upon the Gentile. We are going to pray to next time. He said, oh Lord, crush every curse in my life tonight by your cross. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Father, crush every curse by the power of the cross of Calvary. Crush every curse. Poverty is a curse. Sickness is a curse. Premature death is a curse. Everything that is a curse, Father, in our lives, let it be crushed tonight by the power of the cross of Calvary. Lord, crush every curse tonight. Crush every curse. Every ancestral curse. Every generational curse. Every witchcraft curse. Every form of curse. Let them be crushed tonight by the power of the cross of Calvary. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, it shall come to pass Isaiah 10 27. On that day, that his body shall be lifted and the yoke shall be removed by the anointing. Say after me, say, Oh Lord, anoint your servant for my sake tonight. Lord, take away everybody, take away every yoke by the anointing tonight. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, we ask that you anoint your servant for our sake tonight. Lord, that will break every yoke, that will take away every limitation, every burden. In the name of Jesus. Somebody believe your prayers and answer. Shout a loud amen. If you are outside everywhere you are, it's time just find your way inside and let the glory of God encounter your life. In the name of Jesus. Testimonies are being taken. Go forth and re they will receive your testimony and you will be called to testify. With Jesus John, with a good God bless you. With a clap of free, let's celebrate. And welcome the choir, the priest. Yes. 
Somebody celebrate Jesus. Give the Lord a shout of victory. We overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Somebody wave your hands. Give him glory. Give him honor for the sacrifice on Calvary Street. Somebody shout. I'd like you to lift up your hands above your head right now and just bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. You cheese. Thank you for the Lord. Wonderful. Merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend. Lord of taught from the land, rescued the souls of men. Oh, you rescued the souls of men. Say, Yes, Lord. Somebody wave to the King of Kings. Yes, Jesus. Oh, yes. Say, Oh, 
Jesus is that the best you can do somebody shout wherever you are somebody give the Lord a job somebody job somebody turn around and give the Lord a shout come on yes sir To our God, every word of worship, one I call. Hey. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing every praise. Oh yes. Oh God. Every praise. One more time. Sing every praise.
for him, they will not sell us. When we run to him, he will run to us. When we lift our hands, he will lift us up. Our praise is in the presence of God.
and with power. For which way to go? You have never failed. Yes, you are the God. You don't know.
your hands all ye people shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph you believe something great is happening to you tonight give him the shout of praise hallelujah amen hallelujah please be seated in his magnificent auspicious presence Hallelujah. It's testimony time. God is at work on this mountain. Always at work. And tonight, we have some persons who received benefit and profit for appearing on this mountain or through an encounter with the ministry of God's servant and the mantle of God on this commission. Tonight, as you listen to these testimonies, God is giving you your own testimony in the name of Jesus. Now, we receive so many testimonies, so, so many. But for want of time, we're just going to call a few. Please, if you don't hear your name, another time of this testimony time, or subsequent church services, you may wish to appear to present your testimonies. But tonight, if you hear your name, please, anywhere you are, we know that the, the, the dome is very large. Just start running and start coming. Patience, Emmanuel. Kauna Ibrahim. Kauna Ibrahim. Mrs. Monica Ako. Mrs. Monica. 
Boss a day. Hey, Abby, all the way from Scotland, UK. Edinburgh. Sister Precious. All the way from Maryland, US. Hey. Mrs. Grace. Ade. 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 All the way from Transport Villa, Lube. Please, if, if that sounds like your name, please come. Mrs. Grace. And finally, we have architect and engineer, Mrs. Akoso Paul. I call the names again. Patience Emmanuel. Kauna Ibrahim. Mrs. Grace. Monica Ako, Bosede, all the way from Edinburgh, UK. Mrs. Precious, all the way from Maryland. And Mrs. Grace. And finally, architect and engineer, Mrs. Akoso Paul. Now, your testimonies are powerful. It is much, much effective if you hit the nail at the head. Save us as much details as you can, please. Just essentially the testimonies. God bless you. Patience. Confirm your names. Tell the church what the Lord did for you. Hit the nail at the head. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm very happy to stand in this altar today. I want to thank God for my life and the life of my family. I want to appreciate God for this commission because I'm so grateful to be in this commission. In 2013, I got married. Since then, I'll be exp um, experienced chastity birth, miscarriage upon miscarriage until I give up my department people hold me. They will always be with me. All the child that go back is a main child. So, in 2022, to cut all the story short, in 2022, when uh, a pastor for Kafancha, Cardinal State, was giving testimony of a woman of 62 years giving birth, I said, God, I was not even praying for myself because I said for me, I don't want to die because of getting birth. I, pray, I started praying for those I expected for my department and my relative. So, and for that, that very month, God visited me. I became surprised. I said, what? Praise the Lord. So, as, as the story was going on, I, I became afraid. So the spirit of the Lord ministered to me, say, fear not. So strength came to me. So I was praying for a main child. Say, God, I have one, have him a female. Give me a main child to complete it for me. So in the dream of the night, that is when the pregnancy was six months. God's servant visited our brand, Massacre Central. So when he was ministering, he came to my department, he called me, that is hospitality. He said, woman, come out. When I came out, he gave me clothes, a uniform where they use with the family. He gave me, he said, I should go. The Lord has heard my prayer. I went to Sky. In summary. Now, in summary, long story cut short, evidence ends argument. Despite all the month, despite multiple stillbirths, but God arrived, intervened, through the ministry of God's servant in the dream of the night and in encounter, and this one was saved. And she's here tonight to give God all the glory and the praise. Somebody will get an encounter tonight that will change your story. You believe you are the one. Shout the Lord and say, Amen. Amen. Kauna Ibrahim. Straight to the point. Save all the details, okay? Your name, confirm your name, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Kauna Malwe. Uh, my testimony is
quite uh, overwhelming for me because this is the first time I'm having a clean uh, medical bill for almost 18 years. Since I lost my dad, <laughs> since I lost my dad, my grandmother said it's a polygamous family and she said, how can one girl suffer three boys? And that was the beginning. When I finished my secondary school, it's bronchitis. When I started my bachelor's degree, it was low blood sugar, hepatitis, kidney, all healed on this altar. Mm. When I went to Kenya for my master's degree, it was as if hell was let loose. And uh, I started having asthma attack from nowhere, panic attacks. My chest will just get blocked. It's like I will not even go to school. But to the glory of God, Within that period also, I was diagnosed with SLE, which is lupus. And um, it was quite overwhelming to be alone in a foreign country, and then you're going through all this. But I kept praying and saying, I've served in this altar, and God will not sh make me go to shame, and I will not, my corpse will not be brought. Because at some point, even a colleague of mine said, just go back to Nigeria, because your corpse might be taken to Nigeria. God forbid. Save. But I said, God forbid, I will finish my master's and I will start my PhD and I will come to testify on this altar. Uh, in October 2022, Daddy came to Kenya and I was privileged to meet him at the airport. And he prayed passionately for me right there at the airport. And that was the change that God gave me in my life. God changed my story. I'll be admitted three, four, five times in a year. I'm always, I'm just like a regular customer. And when I go there, they will tell me there's nothing wrong with you. Just manage this. I've seen different specialists in a very good hospital there. But when I met daddy, my story changed. I was never admitted after then. And this is one year plus and forever, I believe. God has healed me. On Wednesday, I went. She was never admitted after then. After then. At least after one year now. Yes, sir. And on, when I said, okay, let me go for the test. But, you know, the devil will still bring some kind of discouragement. And in January 4th, I was able to meet daddy in his office with my family. And he prayed for us. And he said, go to the altar, lie down and pray. And I prayed to God that if I go for this test, I will come back here to testify on this altar. And brethren, to the glory of God, this is the first time all the tests, kidney, liver, everything, normal. And the SLE, the air, anti-nuclear antibody came out negative. It's Systemic lupus erythematosis, the antibody negative. came out negative. negative. And I've just been myself, my skin have changed, my hair have grown back. Like, I can, just can't explain. And I'm here to the glory of God, to give God all the thanks for not putting me to shame. And I'm, 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 I'm here to also declare that when I go back to complete my PhD degree, Nothing of this sort would ever occur again, and I'll complete it and come back here also to testify to the glory of God. Give the Lord a clap, a shout of praise. Please stand on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. This is a testimony worth, worth celebrating. Yes, sir. Systemic lupus erythematosis, autoimmune disorder, it will destroy the kidney, destroy everything, possibly incapacitate someone in a wheelchair. God has healed it neatly. And here again, hepatitis and all manner of afflictions. God, what a faithful, faithful God. Let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Celebrations, let's go. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Jesus, name above every order. Anti-nuclear antigen of, of systemic lupus erythematosis, normal range. Hepatitis B surface antigen, negative. Hallelujah. 
organs, liver, kidney, everything normal. For someone who was a bundle of affliction, every single thing is clean for 18 years. Can we give the Lord a big clap and a louder shout of praise? Celebration. See the way you love me. Everybody, see the way. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Kindly confirm your name and tell the world what the Lord did for you. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. My name is Mrs. Monica Ako. I'm here with my brother and my sister to testify to the goodness of God. For what God has been doing in my life and the life of my family. I want to thank God. My testimony is my brother standing here. He is at village, Benue State. He came all the way from Benue State last, last three weeks ago. So my mom called me that my brother was diagnosed of kidney stone, that he went to farm and he could not be able to come back. So when they called me, I was afraid. So I, I Tested daddy that time it was February 4th. I test daddy message that my brother James was diagnosed of kidney, and daddy did not reply till three days. And daddy replied that divine perfection. And I key into that testimony, into that word, and to the glory of God, reaches one week later. My mom called me that my brother is heady, that for the tea, the pain. That the pain is going down. And I tell my mom that if, that if that should be the case, that I don't want anything to happen to him, that they should bring him to Abuja, that I'm going to take him to Glory Dome. And my mom said, okay. And the fine way for him, he came to Abuja. Like three days, we came here for healing and deliverance service. That is how my brother was healed. This boy standing here is a big testimony because if you see his picture then, and now, you know that God did something for his life. <laughs> Secondly, I've been praying to God for divine help. I've been, before now, my life was shattered butter. And since I located Dunamis, God has been intervening in my life. Mm. So I pray to God. That is why we should write one thing that we want God to do for us this year. And I ask God that I need job. And the job that will not distract me from you. So it reaches uh, January and daddy appeared to me in the dream. Was giving me deliverance. And he told me, he whispered to my ear, that whatsoever that I ask tonight shall be what, what God will do for me. And I told him that what I need is peace of mind and peace of marriage and good job. And he said, perfection, he laid hand on me in a dream. And... Three days later, my friend came to me that there was a job somewhere that I you don't know that if I would be trying. So when I went there, the man said that they have brought so many people, but he didn't know whether they would, they would accept me. And to the glory of God, and I came to what daddy said to me in the dream. And when I went there, the man smiled at me. The first thing the man smiled at me, I said, you are beautiful. <laughs> Favor, favor, favor. And he said, which church did you attend? I said, do not mind. He said, your God has answered your prayer. And he asked me to submit my CV. Immediately, I submit the CV. And he said that your job is handled. Immediately, instantly, I was employed there. And my job started that very day. 
Praise the Lord. Make it bigger for Jesus. Hallelujah. I hope you are not walking directly under him. Because that compliment, so that he doesn't follow up on it. Not at all. She doesn't walk under him. He doesn't walk directly under him. Give the Lord a big clap and a louder shout of praise. God will cause your, your, your life to stand out in front of your interviewers and favor will give you the job. Amen. And we thank the Lord for the life of James. James, come. James. For some of you who don't know, the, the local version of James is James. What's the day? What's the day? Father, thank you for James. <laughs> Freedom in Jesus' name. Amen. And the very good sister of James. Yes. Kindly confirm your name and give the Lord a big clap of hand and a shout of prayer. And tell the world what the Lord did for you. Your names and what the Lord did for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Bosse de Abbe. I'm so excited being here. Praise the Lord. All the way from Edinburgh. UK. In January 17, on a Sunday morning, I just, I've been following Dunamis online, following Reverend Dr. Pastor Dr. Polenetti online, and on this day, I decided to join the first service. Okay. Sunday first service? Yes. Right. What's the time? The one that is 6.30 here? 5.30 there. So I woke up early and... Before I joined, before the time I slept off and had this encounter where when the church here, the glory dome, and um, the pastor came and I found myself at his feet and I couldn't stand up. Then he lifted me and I was on my fours. My hands and my feet, I was on my knees. And he prayed for me, put his hand on my back as though patting me back and forth and <laughs> cast out the devil. When I stood up, he cast out the devil. I couldn't stand, so the people around him assisted me to stand. And he turned back and said, come and see me in my office. Praise the Lord. After that day, I decided I must come for the maturity class, and that is why I came today. Praise the Lord. Then in um, January, around the 26th, one of my nurses was pregnant in the U.S. She was to go by CS. And we were expecting to hear good news. On the 26th, she called me that she had a baby. She was in tears. If you had a baby, why are you crying? That she was told the baby was still born. Oh my God, was I upset. I said, why would it be stillborn? This is the US, and they gave you an appointment. Why did they allow you to go into labor? She, she wasn't in a state to say anything, and my heart just went to my feet. I didn't know what to do. I just consoled her, I comforted her. Then I was led to send her the tongues of fire. I sent the tongues of fire to her and told her, play it continually in the background. Don't mind the people around you. Did you hear me? She said, yes. She called me. Um, I called her. She, I sent her the tongues of fire around 3.15 a.m. By 3, no, by around 3.35 a.m. By 3.51 a.m., I missed her call. Then I sent a message to her. I said, please play the tongues of fire in your room. The Lord of hosts is with you. We shall hear good news. I didn't hear from her again. Two days later, my sister called me and congratulated me that I got a new baby boy. Praise the Lord. Tongues of fire brought the still birth baby back alive. Give the Lord a clap, a shout of victory. 
Praise the Lord. There are so many I cannot, but I'll just summarize them. Sometime last year, I had an, a dream, and I had an attack. Somebody held my hand and injected something into my left arm, and it became a pain, so painful, and it's beyond description. You know, like fire and pepper together. So uh, I anointed it and continued to pray. At a point, it got, I got relief. But all of a sudden, if I bent my hand like this, I couldn't straighten it without pain. Until last week's um, commanding the day midnight prayer. And I prayed seriously about it. And all of a sudden, I realized today that I can uh, Hallelujah. stretch my hands. Praise the Lord. Then... Just before, just before the end of last night's uh, commanding the day midnight prayer, the senior pastor declared, was a word of knowledge, and said, somebody with dry eyes, you were almost blind, but for the grace of God, That's that right. God was healing you. For some years now, uh, it was terrible. At a point, my doctor said, I needed to do a surgery immediately for cataract. But before then, my eyes were so dry that they prescribed um, water, you know, medical water for me to be lubricating my eyes. No tears coming out from my eyes. And it was... Was that were, yesterday? Yes, it I was like yesterday. To, to get, get all the yesterday, clip of that today. so that we can... I don't, I don't have it here. It was this afternoon I discovered it. So I will scratch and scratch my eyes, you know, so inconvenient and so bad because the side kept on going worse, getting worse. At a point, I couldn't drive. But God intervened after prayers, prayers, and now I can drive. However, the dryness remained and the blurriness remained. But after last night... In class this morning and afternoon, I realized that the itchiness was, I, hadn't, I haven't scratched my eyes since, and the dryness has drastically reduced. Praise Give the Give the Lord. Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. They will show us that clip. But it looks to me, madam, it looks to me, ma'am, that there is a gap that was not filled. And I want you to fill it by yourself. So the child was still born. And you asked them to play the tongues of fire. And after the tongues of fire was played, the next thing is that they called you to congratulate you. So what happened before the congratulation? I don't know. The baby was with them. I didn't ask them. All I was interested in was I got a brand new nephew. And then... <laughs> The gap still remained unfilled. <laughs> so the child was born still. And then the next call is, congratulations, you have a brand new nephew. So who can fill in the gap? So, 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 so they played the tongues of fire on the baby in the hospital. And then the baby came back alive. It was no longer still born. She said he's alive now and will be celebrating his third month this month. <laughs> Somebody give the Lord a big clap of hand. Well, I, I think it, it, she narrated the story the way she was told. All right, um, play the tongues of fire. Next thing she heard was nobody said, thank God, baby has come back alive, or this or that. The, what they told her is, Congratulations, you have a brand new nephew. So she's reporting the way she was told. But a brand new nephew means the dead nephew came back to life. Can we give the Lord a big clap and a louder shout of praise? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Give the king everything dead in your life is coming back alive today. Amen! Shout the loudest. Amen! Amen!
Amen. Amen. Sister Precious, all the way from Maryland, USA. Confirm your name and tell the whole world what the Lord did for you. My name is Sister Precious from Maryland, USA. I, I encountered this commission 11 years ago. I have been following online. And uh, to cut the story short, two years ago, November, I, my son was snuggling with me and he hit his head on my left breast. And I noticed that it hurts me. I started checking it and I felt a big, strong lump on the left breast. And since that time, I have been praying, following daddy in every program, every program, morning, afternoon, night. And I believe God that I am healed. So uh, February uh, last year, I went to do the mammogram to check the breast because I was very scared. So I, I, they checked the breast and what they saw was on the right breast, not the left one. They said uh, the right one is that there are dense tissues. And I left and they started calling me back and forth, sending mails putting an appointment for me that I should come back to check it very well, that there is something they need to check to confirm on a stronger machine. I said I am not going to go there anymore, that I have a God, that I, I'm going to book appointments. I will come back to Nigeria whenever I have the money to come. I will come on this mountain any year. When I come here, I'll go back and check. And I'll see that devil that will put that thing in my breast. And I came down here on Tuesday, and the, the lump was still there. I've been praying midnight, commanding the day midnight, the lump was still there. On Thursday morning, after the Wednesday night we prayed, on Thursday morning I woke up, I checked the breast, and I did not see the lump anymore. It... Two years of lump on the right breast came all the way from the U.S., on Tuesday here, and on this mountain, the Lord advised itself. The mantle of God at work on this mountain dematerialized the Lord, and she said she can't find no Lord no more. Give the Lord a clap, a shout of praise. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. And secondly, I... I've been in the U.S. for six years, and since the first year we entered the country, my son always have asthmatic allergies. Every season, you will see, he will introduce himself every season. Every season, winter, summer, whether hot or cold, we are always running on emergency. The clinic, they know us. So when I bump into commanding the, your day, Midnight prayers uh, this November. It, before I bumped into it, my son has started reacting, coughing and wheezing and difficult to breathe. But it wasn't very, very serious to run to the hospital. I called him. I told him, come. You have to confirm that God answers prayer. We will pray together every day. And this time, we are not going to no hospital. And he said, yes, mommy. Every night... We pray with daddy on commanding the day midnight prayers. And this boy will always do his personal supplication. He's eight years old. And we kept doing it. November passed. December, January, February. No hospital. No, no hospital. Gone forever. God is giving you an encounter that will counter the works of the enemy in your life. Today in the name of Jesus. All the inhalers, all the inhalers we use four times in a day. We have not touched it since we joined Commanding Your Day. It has gone and gone forever. Hallelujah. And lastly, I, on 11th of February, when Daddy was declaring that there are people that want to write exam in our Commanding Your Day, that you will go 
and you come back with a congratulations. And I've been preparing for this scary professional exams, and all my colleagues, they, they said, nobody has written it once. I said, I have never written an exam twice. I, I, know where, I know where I'm coming from. I will not fail that exam whenever I decide to write it. But I was scared. I continued praying, following daddy. And every time daddy declare, decreased, I follow it up. I was preparing. I, I actually prepared for the exam very well. But it, you, know, you don't know where you're going to read. You don't know what to read. You don't know where the question is coming from. And... As God may have it, on the 23rd of February, I applied for the exams. I went. I passed. I exceeded the expectation. And everybody was surprised at my clinic. I am so grateful. I'm still pinching myself that I'm standing on this altar for the past 11 years. I am so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Above only, that is our portion. Online for 11 years, now here in person. Congratulations. Yes. Mrs. Grace? Confirm your name and tell the whole world what the Lord did for you. He the near at the head. Thank you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Above only. That's our place. My name is Grace Adediji. Thank you. I'm here to return all glory to God. November, I came for the fire conference. That's basically my first conference here in the church. And daddy was preaching about royal priesthood. And he stirred up my soul, you know. I said, I want to be a steward that no matter where I am or what I have, I will come here and I will serve God and I will do my own part to grow, you know. Then um, daddy now talked about tithing. I felt very bad because I have not been giving my tithe for a while. And my company has been very slow. Like last year, I can count with my finger how many projects I had, like two. So on that fateful Sunday, that was the rounding up of the conference, I just told myself, Grace, you have to remove this. And so a seed, I sowed a seed, I paid my tithe, and I also uh, sowed a seed for fruitfulness because that's what I wanted. So I came in, after I finished using, uh, you know, getting the funds, I sat down there. I did not even gets to the box. When I saw a UK call calling me, they have been trying to reach me. They want to give me a job. I said a job. Something I've been pursuing for months. I've had just two projects in 2023. I've lost hope. So there and there I came outside and daddy prayed for me and he told me this is the beginning. He prayed for me here. So I said to when I finished the first job, I told God, God, Daddy, you know I don't have a father. You're my father. How far? Is, are we going to be doing this back to back? I didn't know that God was just laughing at me. Because the way he bombarded me. The way he has just been, he has just been doing things I don't understand. I don't understand. And since he has said he will show me mercy, I will do my best for the Lord. You people should calm down. I'm not yet done. So when I gave, when I came and put in my seed, when the first contract went, I said, God, thank you. But it's the other fruitfulness I was talking about. Too. But since you have given me this one, I'm grateful. Before I finished that one, they called me. You have a house project. I said, me. So as I was about doing that one, two more just came in January. February, another two. I said, God, since you have started this one, let us continue. On Wednesday, when mommy was praying, after she finished praying for us, I said, okay, I'm ready. I put in my seed. I put it there. My brethren, the one I signed today, I have, I, have, I have not signed it before. I was not qualified. I did not have a portfolio. I did not even go for it. I went to give God the glory. And I am here to say, Daddy, you have to touch me. The other fruitfulness must join. Because God is too faithful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Business that was crawling, business that was sleepy, almost in coma. But after an encounter with the mantle and grace of God here, it has picked up. Now signing business contract in multiple zeros. God is changing your testimony. Daddy made a declaration. He said your year before, 
during commanding the day, sorry. He said, what you have not had in the last year, God will give it to you. And I'm here with confidence to tell you that God is alive. He has given me in this three, four months what I did not have in a year. And I've come to give God all the glory. And the year has not finished yet. The year hasn't finished. And the year is still going. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. She's saying that something should be added. What is that? Believing God for the fruit of God. Fruit, fruit, fruitfulness. Yes. Oh, you were asking God fruitfulness, fruit of the womb, and he gave you financial fruitfulness. God, who did that to I will do, do all of it. Amen. Confirm your name and tell the whole world what the Lord did for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I, I could have poised my name, my wife, engineer Josephine Paul. The Lord is good. All the time. Um, praise God. Hallelujah. I heard that he declared severally he is not a pastor of non entities. Mm. That is our story. I came from a family that the devil messed up the destiny of almost everyone. Encountered the commission in 20, 2009 with my wife, we were caught in that time. God wedded, and then God started working in our lives. I started with in 2013. I had an encounter where God's servant, our father in faith, uh, gave, I was on a queue, so he picked me up and handed an envelope to me. In that envelope, bundles of money. Fast forward in 2014, we started a company, a furniture company, and our niche was in educational furniture and office and corporate furnishing. And then in less than three years, the company started exploding, success everywhere, as I speak, in this country, over 70% of the higher institutions we've done business with are still counting to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In 2020, COVID-19, God gave us the privilege. Within a year, our new factory was built in just Plateau State. Hallelujah. And then in 2022, I got a conviction to expand into Abuja here. And we started trusting God on what God would do. We came into town, getting the space was a challenge. Uh, the cost was even high and all that. And we trusted God to get a place of our own. That very 2022, I had the privilege of meeting Daddy up during the Destiny Recovery Convention before the vision. And Daddy declared mercy, mercy mercy. After that, everything opened up. We got a, a location in town, exactly I would say, bought the place, started uh, working on the place. As I speak, that place is ready for dedication any moment from now. All to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. And one of the things we're trusting God for here was to venture into real estate. And again, uh, through November last year, the cooling system seed, because we're trusting God for open doors in the real estate too. Then we came, dropped a seed, I and my wife. That seed, we have not given that seed as at that time to God. And then everything in that direction to open up. As we speak, we have uh, three locations already signed to our name, to the company's name. Hallelujah. And we are starting the project any moment from now. On Monday, I also had the privilege of meeting Daddy at the lobby here. And it happens to be my birthday. Daddy didn't even know it was my birthday. But he declared into my life, success. Father, empower your son for success. And something happened. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, some of the monies that, you know, over six months, were heard, were not released, as if something let loose somewhere. Everything started coming in. Everything started coming in. And I am sure that little token that was dropped, that was what provoked that. My wife, this, uh, lastly now, my wife for the past three years were trusting God. She suffered hepatitis. And we're trusting God for a healing. And it happened during the, one of the commanding the day's prayer session. 
we connected. I was actually in Abuja here. She was in Jaws. Connected, and a declaration came, and she got her healing. Confir went to hospital, confirmed it, and she is whole and hurting. And we are here to give God the praise, return all the glory to God for all he has done. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Can we stand on our feet, please? Hold on one minute. She's whole and hurting. That means she's negative. Is that what you mean? Yes, sir. Hepatitis B, surface antigen, negative. negative. Non reactive. Non -reactive yes, Are you hearing the kind of quiet? So we're going to Wuse and we got a place there. We bought it. That is not one naira. Wuse is not where you buy anything for less than 500 million or a billion or something. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's a, that, and then we just got it and we bought it. <laughs> we have some, you see, not everybody who has substance is braggadocious. That's right. I met a man one day, he laid down flat, just, well, happy to see you, sir, and all of that. If you saw him and they told you that he is um, someone on the street, is something walking on the street, you, you, you won't understand. Recently, he told me, he said, as this year, he has, um, the job in his hand so far is about 150 billion. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Till today, if you see him and they say he has one Nara, he will just be looking at you and just be. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let's humble ourselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some people don't have anything. The noise is too much. Too much. The braggadociousness, the arrogance, the, everybody must know me. Yeah. When they come here, every, everywhere scatter. Calm down. You don't need to make noise to make news. Hallelujah. These testimonies are so... I, we went to look for, um, for building. We went, to, went into town to look for facility for uh, church planting within the city here and there. And we came across one that they showed us. And the man rushed to us. It's, it's the same who said two. Hmm. And uh, I said, so who owns the place? He's the owner of the place. And he's a member of the church. I said, since when? He said, for more than 20 years. I have not met him once. And our accountant said he knew him when he was doing youth service as a member of the church. Effortlessly in massive resources. That is how your testimony shall be. Amen. If you are saying amen, shout the loudest amen. Amen. Only thing I can tell you is I want you to be faithful to God. Faithful in your obligations to God, faithful in covenant practices, and there shall be no limit to where God will take you. Amen. Can we celebrate God for one minute? Somebody celebrate the King of Kings. All right, let's make it, let's make it three minutes of celebration. Let's go. For you are bigger than what people say, and forever you will be my God. You are bigger than
Somebody shout a louder hallelujah. Give the Lord a big clap offering as we take your seat in heavenly places. Very, very quickly tonight, taking us further in special ministrations. We have Joseph Okibe, DVI Lafia. Can we give Jesus a better clap offering? And then after that, we have blessing, blessing Alpha, the Asafaid, and then the last in this segment is Vicky T, DVI Glory Dome. Give Jesus a mighty clap offering as they come. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen. Hey, for there are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen. I got turning around. Somebody give Jesus a shout if you believe. God is turning your life around tonight. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen. My God turning around. Hey! Take it forward. Are you weighed down by battles in life? That's right. Are you thinking of quitting the race? There no need to give up on your journey because I know my God will turn it around. Will turn it around. Hey, somebody give Jesus a shout. There are so, so many, many times. Hey, in my life that I have seen, my God turn it around. Are you weighed down by battles in life? Hey! Are you thinking of quitting the race? That's right. Hey! There is no need to give up on your journey because I know my God to will turn it around. Have you suffered? Hey! Have you suffered from this appointment? Hey! And some people turn their backs on you. Hey, I'm talking to you. Just, just hold keep holding hey, until the one who cannot disappoint. Oh my God, will turn it around. Hey, do you think that you're all alone? Hey, do you feel God has forsaken you? Hey, he has don't forget, He has promised to keep you. To keep you. So keep you till the end of the journey. I know my God. Oh, Papa Rata, we turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it Now take it around. I know my God will turn it around. Everybody says, hey.
Thank you for 
Stand up on our feet and worship Him. Oh, 
and there is no way I can recount it all. Every day, every day of my life, I'm a coward. see that something very unusual will be happening. It's happening already tonight. Do you feel the climate? Do you feel the atmosphere? You feel what God is doing here tonight? Wave your hands and give him the praise. The Bible said, Arise, shine for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Would you turn on your light and just lift it up and wave it to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords who believe your light is come and the glory of the Lord. Everywhere you are, right in the sanctuary, on the galleries, the overflows, wherever you are, Wave your light and just let's honor him. Let's worship him. Father, thank you. Thank you for the arrival of light. Light is come and glory is risen. Light is come and glory is risen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Elion. Thank you, Adonai. Light everywhere. All the locations. Turn on your light and wave to the king of kings. The Bible said the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehends it not. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehends it not. Father, thank you for the shining of this light, the shining of this light, the shining of this light at the glory dome, the shining of this light all over the nation of Nigeria, the shining of this light all over the nations of the earth, where this meeting is going on right now. We worship you, we honor you, we adore you, we magnify you. Blessed be your name, honor to your name, Adoration to your name. Thank you again and again and again. Be glorified, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise as you take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Just before we step, welcome everyone here today in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Just before we step into the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer segment of this Worship and Wonders Night, which is Good Friday Vigil, of it is finished. I'm bringing a charge for the sake of the prayer on the, on the subject, the basis of our access in prayer. The basis of our access in prayer. The objective this moment is to understand our access and boldness towards God at the place of prayer. What gives us access? What gives us boldness? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 the Bible said let us come let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let's come boldly to the throne of grace and, and obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. What is it that gives us boldness? By way of introduction, I like to say that going before God must not be done on the grounds of assumption. We don't assume. Also, we don't go before God apologetically, beggarly. We go before God not on the basis of assumption. Secondly, we go before God not apologizing. We go before God with boldness. We go before God with confidence. Now, what gives us the boldness? What gives us the access? What access makes us bold? Number one, access by the blood of Jesus. Thank God it is Good Friday. And thank God Jesus said it is finished. Our first access Whatever gives us the authority to go before God to pray is the blood. Access by the blood of Jesus. 
Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19 to verse 20. Hebrews 10, 19 to 20. He said, having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. By a new and living way which he has consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say his flesh. We have access by the blood of Jesus. Number two is access by sonship. Because you are the son of God, son and daughter of God, you have access. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 11, he said, If ye then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things? To them that ask him. And John chapter 1 verse 12 said. As many as believed received him. To them gave he power. To become the sons of God. So we, we can approach God. On the grounds of the blood. We can approach God. On the grounds of our sonship. Number three. Is access. Through the Holy Spirit. By the spirit of God we have access. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. He said. Likewise the spirit helpeth. Also helps our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray. For as we ought. But the spirit himself. Maketh intercession for us. With groanings. Which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts. Knoweth what is the mind of the spirit. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and in verse 2, he said, For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him, how be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Somebody say aloud, Amen. So we can access God by the blood of Jesus. We access God because we are his sons. We access God. By the Holy Spirit. Number four is access by the word. The word of God gives us the basis for approaching God. The word of God. Jeremiah chapter 33 and in verse 3. He said, call unto me and I will answer thee. And show thee great and mighty things which thou knewest not. Call unto me. My word is giving you is giving you invitation. Come to me on the basis of my word. Jeremiah 29, verse 12, and in verse 13 also. 29, 12, 13. It says, Then shall ye call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And you shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. So we have access by the word. Finally, number five for this morning is access by mercy. We access by his blood. We access by being his sons. We access through the Holy Spirit. We access him by his word and we have access by his mercy. Hebrews 4, 16 where we read, he said, let's come boldly to the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Psalm 66 verse 20. See what he said. Blessed be God which has not turned away my prayer nor his mercy from me. He has not turned away my prayer. He has not turned away his mercy. So his mercy is a reason for my prayer. Now this is very exciting. Psalm 69 verse 13. Look at that. Very interesting. He said, But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time, O God. In the multitude of thy mercy, hear me, in the truth of thy salvation. We are heard in the multitude of his mercy. In the multitude of his mercy. In the multitude of his mercy. We are heard. I announce and prophesy to someone here today. The mercy of God shall cause you to be heard this morning. 
in Jesus precious name this is my conclusion two things one God is interested in hearing and answering prayers so he provided multiple platforms for accessing his presence again God is so interested in hearing and answering the prayers of his people so he provided multiple platforms for accessing his presence by the blood by being his sons by his by the holy spirit by the word and by his mercy number two we, we, we saw that already in psalm 65 verse 2 unto thee that hear prayers O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. So he hears and he answers. Number two, God must be approached boldly, confidently, believingly, and reverently. God must be approached boldly, confidently, believingly, and reverently at the place of prayer. That was what he told us in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 and 15 he said 1 John 5 14 and 15 this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us and we know that if we hear us we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Somebody say amen. I welcome you to commanding the day midnight prayer of Good Friday and of Easter Friday, let's say. Stand up on your feet and let us give him the praise. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Stand up on your feet. I'd like you to get set because something is happening here tonight. We worship you. We lift up your, we worship you. Lift your hands and worship him. Somebody lift up your voices and give God praise, celebrate him for his faithfulness. Father, we are eternally appreciative of your goodness in our midst. It's another time for Commander Day Midnight Prayer. Wherever you are across the globe, please ensure that someone is connected to this platform on your account. We'll have details on the screen. You forward those details to them and ensure that someone is awake in this hour of change and transformation. Father, we give you praise. The word of God says in Matthew chapter 7 and in verse 7, Ask, and ye shall receive, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. That is the confidence that we have, like we have just heard, to approach the throne of grace, because we know that we have a God who hears and God who will answer. Father, we ask that the heavens over us be opened, and let our prayers ascend unto you as sweet smelling several. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Let's Give a hand, put our hands together for Jesus, please, as we receive the praise team to take us in the five sharp minutes of praise in God's presence. Lord, I come before your majesty, not to see what I can get from you, but to see what I can give to you. Lord, I come. Lord, I come before your majesty, not to see what I can give. To see what I can give. Oh, but what can I give? That you don't have a Lord. And what do I have? That I did not get from you. Oh, so I breathe. As a sacrifice. So I bring my praise. So I bring my praise. So I bring my praise. So I bring my 
Celebrate the King of Kings with a shout of praise. I welcome you to this special edition of Commanded Today Midnight Prayers. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Please call your loved ones, friends, and connect them with this global platform of transformation, intervention, and revival. And I pray God will do something good in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And when necessary, you can send, a, that, send data to somebody. As you do so, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We'll have some testimonies now. Above only greetings in Jesus' name. This is from FB from Kaduna. Above only greetings in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for the glorious things he's been doing in my life and family. I joined the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer on 18th November 2023 through someone's status on Facebook. And I opened the link and connected. Since then, I've been an active member and I, 
In short, I sent it to my Facebook and WhatsApp platforms because the blessings I received from this altar are numerous. Throughout 2023, I lived a very reckless life of borrowing from online apps and made, that made me a constant debtor. Immediately, they paid my salary. I will pay my loan and borrow another one again. That has, that has been my life throughout 2023. But since I connected to this glorious and blissful altar, it has been from glory to glory. I remember early December 2023, Dr. Paul Enenche mentioned my case that anyone that is addicted to online borrowing, today he causes that spirit of borrowing in their lives. I shouted, Amen. Since then, I stopped borrowing. And God has been providing for my family. Secondly, last year in my place of work, I was promoted. But in August 2023, we had a new VC. And he instructed that there should be a staff audit in the institute. When it was my turn, I went to the audit hall to meet with the committee. And I presented all my documents. After they checked my documents, they decided to drop me one level backward, which affected my salary and my plans. But I decided to pray and take it to the commanding the day midnight prayer order. And God so kind in September 2023, the man of God declared that whatsoever the devil has taken away from you shall be released back. And I shouted, Amen. And pastor said, I see someone going to meet a board committee today that he will obtain favor before the board. And I shouted a glorious amen. To the glory of God, I was called for an audit revisit. And I went and God did exactly as pastor declared. I was taken back to the level. I was recommended for a higher level this year. May God bless you and reward you, sir and ma. May the oil on your head Never go dry. Nations are being blessed through this platform. Hallelujah. Gloria E. from Patakot. Good evening, commanding the day midnight prayer crew. I've come to return all the glory to God. I joined the command the day midnight prayer in December from YouTube while listening to a message. Since then, I've been trusting God for my own testimony. On the 18th of January, 2024, Dr. Paul Enenchi, after the prayer, gave a prophecy about a glory or gloria that has no glory at all. That devil is a bastard liar. As I talk about this person, any other person that has a name that is opposite your life, your name is meant to be a blessing, but it's like you are experiencing causes. Your name is meant to be like favor, but you are experiencing rejection. I prophesy to you today the glory that lacks every trace of glory. I announce to you today, Gloria, in the name of Jesus, I declare reversa right now. I prophesy your release in the name of Jesus. I shouted amen. That was what I've been experiencing for 11 years of marriage. After that night, my husband came back and started apologizing to me for the way he has been behaving towards me. From that day till eternity, there is peace in my home. God bless you, sir and man, for allowing God to use you to deliver people like me. To God alone be all the glory. Declaration attached. That devil is a bastard liar. And as I talk about this person, any other person that has a name that is opposite to your life, you, you, your name is meant to be a blessing, but it's like you are experiencing curses. Your name is meant to be like be favor, but you are experiencing rejection. I prophesy to you today, and the glory that lasts every trace of glory, I announce to you to the glory in the name of Jesus. I declare a reversal right now. I prophesy your release. Give the Lord a praise if, if the devil is 
giving you a situation of reproach or mockery, it is over right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Taking a few more testimonies, Emmanuel A.O. from Abuja. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for his servant, handmaiden, and the entire commanding the day midnight um, prayer crew. This platform is a blessing indeed. I am thanking God specifically for locating me and sending my word through his servant on Thursday slash Friday, 21st and 22nd March 2014. 20, 24, beg your pardon. God's servant declared that a limitation from your father's house today, the yoke is broken. Man with a name that starts with E, I declare, a supernatural supply of resources that will turn around your story in the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority over the uncompleted building, spell of uncompleted building. I see that you traveled. I see that you gave someone some people some money just appreciation and they use the same money to tie your destiny down your project has been on a standstill for years today i declare the embargo is lifted within the next one week the lord will show you a sign that what the enemy arrested now now is released or rather what the enemy arrested is now released i shouted amen people of God. That was my word. I was so shocked. I started rejoicing. My name is Emmanuel. I just, and just a few seconds before that word, I muttered a word of prayer to God while still connecting. Father, grant me divine supernatural supplies. Then in less than five seconds, the word came. Kai! We have a land meant for a proposed building in the village. For our single mother, we had molded blocks since 2014, 10 years ago. Up till that moment, no building. Only last year, we managed to build a dwarf fence around the plot because a contention about the plot boundaries arose. Our mother is still in a rented house in the village over these years. I have traveled to the village a couple of times and in the course of it, I had innocently extended hands of giving to people. Not knowing what the enemy had planned. But thank God for Jesus and for, his, and for this platform. Now my loved ones and I are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I will surely return with the attending testimonies of both the judgment of, of God upon the wicked and our supernatural supply testimony. Praise the Lord. Declaration attached. What the devil say you cannot finish, you will finish it. Whether it is a financial challenge, a limitation from your father's house, today the yoke is broken. Man with a name that starts with an E, I declare a supernatural supply of resources that will turn around your story in the name of Jesus Christ. And I take authority over that uncompleted building. Spell of uncompleted building. I see that you travel. I see that you give some people some money. Just appreciation. And they use the same money to tie your destiny down. The project has been on a standstill for years. Today, I declare the embargo is lifted. Hallelujah. Within the next one week, the Lord show you sign that what the enemy arrested is now released. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap and a shout of praise. Everything the enemy arrested in your life is hereby released in Jesus' name. Amen. Evelyn from Anambra. Good morning, Commandant Day Midnight Prayer family. I am here to give thanks to God for coming through for me by winning a battle for me at my place of work. It all started December last year when my colleague, a young man in my department, asked where I got my boldness and audacious behavior to talk to him from. I replied him that I got it from God Almighty, not knowing he had evil intention of sabotaging my work. I deal with livestock. So on the night of the 1st of January this year, 
He carried out his plan by switching off the water inlet to one of the poultry pens I am supervising. And the birds lacked water from that night till the following morning, 2nd January. Even on getting to that particular pen, I didn't notice that anything was amiss until God pushed him to talk. And it was so glaring he did that evil work by using his own words to rope himself. I reported this to the senior staff around as the farm manager traveled at the time, but he was only warned. This really pained me and brought tears to my eyes because I would have lost 100 plus birds if not for God's intervention. In my tears and pain, I cried to God during commanding the day midnight prayer that he should fight for me because I never wished him bad. The following day, senior pastor raised a prayer point on people with the intention to sabotage, and, to sabotage and wickedness. I prayed so hard because it's like I explained what happened, happened to the senior pastor. After the prayer, I felt peace and left all to God. Even though the man was still so negligent to his duties. And I, always, and I will always be the one to bear the brunt of it all. He lay... This month of March, God showed himself. The same colleague misbehaved and flouted the order of the farm. The farm manager himself and an external senior staff who is more like a partner to the company. This led to the termination of his appointment on the basis of sabotage again. I want to thank God for showing me that even though it feels like nothing is being done, he is fighting my battle for me unknown. And I believe I have overcome all the bias, envy, and jealousy of those working with me. They say I am a lady and have a petite stature. How will I lead them? God bless you, daddy and mommy, and the entire Dunamis family. Hallelujah. You stand on your feet one moment and celebrate God. If you are trusting God to carry out judgment on your behalf on any adversary of your life, let's celebrate for one minute. Let's go. My Lord has the key of David. He opens and man can shine. He has opened the door for me. And no man can shine. The Lord has the key of David. If it's your open door, give him another shout, a clap, and you may be comfortably seated. Hallelujah! You may be com comfortably seated anywhere you are watching tonight. And we continue in the rest of this uh, Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer within the Worship and the Wonders Night, within the Good Friday Vigil. Praise the Lord. We'll be taking a few more times. Yeah, celebrate the Lord. Wake up your friends, wake up your loved ones, wake up your neighbor, give them a phone call and let them wake up and be a part of what God is doing. And you have somebody in the hospital, somebody in need of divine attention, put the phone with the prayers going on right by their ears and we expect God to do a miracle. Like the woman from Ireland, send the tongues of fire to her niece and lo and behold, baby came back alive. Praise the Lord. Let's take a, 
a look at a few more testimonies. E. Ekpo from Lagos says, above only, that is my place. I want to return all the glory to God for the wonderful things he has been doing through the commanding the day midnight prayer. God has shown me mercy and come through for me. Yesterday, he had been struggling to pray through midnight prayers for many years with no recorded success. Though he had been praying in the night, but to pray at midnight was such a heavy task for him. He wasn't consistent, thanks be to God. His prayer life has been revived and he joined the commanding the day midnight prayer with ease with the help of the Holy Spirit who wakes him up on time till uh, if he sleeps before the prayer starts. This is one of the greatest testimonies of his life. Secondly, God spoke through the senior pastor on January the 2nd, 2024, during the prophetic declaration, and he quotes, Epo is the name spelled E-K-P-O. You are being set free from the load the enemy put on your head that is not yours. Every load that the devil has put on you that is not yours is returned back to hell. You are being set free from household witchcraft. You are being rescued from that climate of darkness. And he shouted, Amen. Brethren, his life received a supernatural shift from that day till eternity. And things are working for him at divine frequency. Wow. No more setback. Wow. No more rejections. Wow. No more stagnations. Incredible. He doesn't take this for granted. God bless the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. More testimonies loading. Give the Lord a praise if you believe your sister. Hallelujah. Declaration attached. Being set free from the load that the enemy put on your head that is not yours. You are being set free from and, and this and what I say to one, I say to all, every load the devil has put on your head that is not yours is returned back to hell. Amen. You are being set free from household witchcraft. Amen. You are being taken, you are being rescued from that climate of darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sister KD from o Ohio in the U.S. says, Good morning to all uh, her beloved, wonderful family on this platform. She was introduced to this prayer group on January 1st, 2024 by her Cameroonian friend here in Ohio. Since then, she has never missed a night. Every time Pastor is praying, she will go closer to the television just to hear her name. <laughs> her husband of 16 years has been treating her so badly for years. And she had prayed and fasted, but he is still the same. Sometimes she even had to pretend that she's sick to just get his attention. But this man would not care at all. He left the house twice and came back. She has a small business that she's struggling with. He's not helping her in any way. All he wants from her is money. Last month, she asked him to please help her with the rent. He got so mad at her saying, why should he pay rent if she has a business? He sent her all kinds of text messages insulting her. The last message she got from him was that he was looking for a place to move. Saturday, March 16, 2024, she received a divorce letter from the court. She was very sad and she cried for three days. She was scared to tell their children. She hid herself from them and then she would cry. But on March 20th, 2024, God's servant mentioned her name and her name is Coco. When pastor called her name, Brothers and sisters, she felt something inside of her. She fell on the floor with tears in her eyes. Pastor said, Coco, don't be afraid. Whatever God has given to you, no one can take it away from you. 
their court date is April 15, 2024. And she knows by this declaration, God will surely intervene for his glory. She's coming back with a testimony in the name of Jesus. It is done. Amen. Sound, 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 sound. Start with the sound, please. Start with the sound, please. Put your hands and receive mercy. If God has given it to you, it is yours. That's your person to clear. Or if you have it, you have it. If you don't have it, nobody can start. Nobody can Except God. The person I've talked to the Lord, God has given it to you. Envy can't take it away. Amen. Conspiracy can't take it away. Bitterness cannot take it away. Don't be afraid of a crash. Don't fear. Let's continue with Don't some other testimonies just, while just. we sort the sound. Testimony from Chidera from Uturu, living in Okigwe. She says, good evening, her beloved parents in the Lord. Above only, that is my place. She has been passing through delays for a long time for her visa to enable her to reunite with her husband. Fortunately, she met her neighbor, who is a member of Dunamis Church. Then she narrated her story to her, and she introduced her to the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer, which she joined on the 7th of March. Behold, on the 8th of March, during the Midnight Prayers, she joined the prayers with all seriousness. During the prophetic hours, Pastor Paul Enche mentioned that someone who is from Uturu, or living in Uturu, that the devil is monitoring her life and destiny. He commanded the monitoring altar, the mirror, and the gadget set on fire and declared the devil arrested. Thus, her neighbor also encouraged her to sow a seed concerning that prophetic word, which she did. Which she did, oh, brethren. God so answers prayers. God who answers prayers answered me, answered her by releasing her long-awaited visa immediately. Aya. <laughs> her husband called her and said that her visa is ready. Family, it's working. Oh, she wants to seize this opportunity to thank God Almighty for using her neighbor, Iz Izuchi Wachuku, in a special way to answer her prayers by introducing her to this prophetic prayer platform. She also prays that God will equally answer her own prayers in Jesus' name. Declaration. Can we take the declaration attached? Thank God. Something is that you you begins and then you are you at the end. La Shadada, I take authority over that demonic force that is a monitoring spirit that has been after your life. You feel a demonic monitoring, you feel a presence, you feel a monitoring because before you do things, it is already it's as if somebody was waiting and the devil keeps foiling your breakthroughs and foiling your expectations. I announce today. That monitoring altar is set on fire in the name of Jesus. In your next journey, your next business, your next expectation. No power. The power monitoring is arrested, is filled. Whether you are located in that place right now or you are from the place mentioned with the monitoring devil monitoring your life, the tenure of that devil is arrested. Hey, hey, hey! Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your word is coming today. Whether your name is mentioned or where you stay is mentioned, a word is going to come that will address your situation in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Mrs. Charity or Naji from Asaba in Delta State says, Greeting to all the commanding the day prayer crew. Above only, that is her place. She has come to return all the glory to God Almighty for preservation of life, safe delivery, and deliverance 
from demonic manipulations. She was introduced to this prayer program in late November 2023 by her elder sister who lives in Masaka in Abuja. And since then, her life has never remained the same. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. On the 2nd of January, the senior pastor declared that there's someone named Charity and surname starts with O. No devil will sacrifice your life. No devil will sacrifice your destiny. They will not use you as an offering and that anywhere they have tied you and tied your family, God's servant declared that the chain is broken. During this period, she was facing medical challenges as she was pregnant. It was her fourth pregnancy at the eighth to the ninth month. The scan report stated that the baby's position was transverse. And the doctor said there was no other way the baby's position would turn before delivery. And the doctor also queried placenta previa, saying that this would only be handled through an emergency cesarean section. She was asked to go home and prepared prepare quickly for the operation to be carried out the following day since the baby is over eight months old and waiting for the labor to commence would result in further complications. She communicated the result to her husband and her sister and she encouraged her to keep on praying and present it before God during the personal supplication at the commanding the day midnight prayer that she would also join them in prayer. She went back and told the doctors doctor that they would wait and see what God would do since she delivered three of her children on due date appointed by God without complications. This would be no different. People of the living God, when it was time for another appointment, her husband insisted that she go for a scan. And lo and behold, the baby had positioned very well, waiting to be delivered. And the placenta had returned to his position. They went for a second confirmatory scan, and it was the same result. The devil refused to give up, and the doctor said, okay, that the baby is weighing 3.8, and the amniotic fluid is scanty because it is leaking, and he insisted that she should prepare for the CS because, the weight of the baby, because of the weight of the baby and to avoid any complications. They kept on praying. In the last week of January, she went for a check because her time was due. And they said that if after one week she did not deliver, she would not escape that CS. Before the day the doctor gave her, she went into, the lab into labor. The devil tied the placenta around the baby's neck and the baby came out lifeless. But they kept on praying while the nurses kept walking on the child. God intervened to his glory and the baby came back to life and was placed on oxygen. At birth, the bouncing baby boy weighed 4.1. Not even 3.8. The baby is hale and healthy. And they have come to return all the glory to God for using his servant through the commanding the day prayer for her family. Scan result picture and declaration attached. Scan result. That's the baby. We thank God for that great intervention. And that's the bouncing baby boy there. The devil wanted to strangulate it with cord around the neck, but God intervened. Let's hear the declaration. They will use you as an offering. Anywhere they tied you and tied your family, I declare the chain is broken. Amen. On this altar, the Lord is setting you free of your household. Amen. Anywhere they tied you, the cord was tied around the child. Stand up on your feet and tied your family. Let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. One minute. Let's go. Go.
Time for commanding the day prayer and intercession. Wave your hands and give him the praise. I want to let you know that cooling system is being worked on, like you can see, acoustic work and cooling system work is on to increase further cooling. Please bear a little bit. In a short while, you will be asking us to turn down the air a bit. Right? Somebody say a loud amen. amen. Somebody shout the loud most amen. amen. Wake somebody up at this time. Isaiah chapter 53 and in verse 3 all the way to verse 5. Everybody read it with me. One to go. He's despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his tribes, we are healed. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the gift, for the gift of, your son, of your son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Thank, you thank you for his sacrifice, for sacrifice on, the cross, on the cross for the liberation, the liberation of, mankind. of mankind. Be glorified, glorified oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the gift, for the gift of, your son, of your son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Thank, you thank you for his sacrifice on the cross, on the cross for the liberation, the liberation of, mankind. of mankind. Be glorified, be glorified oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead, open your mouth and pray. Jesus precious name Amen. Psalm 103 verse 1 all the way to verse 5 he said bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgiveth all thine iniquities who healeth all thy diseases who redeemeth thy life from destruction who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfieth thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles lift your voice and pray and say for me say father Thank you, Thank you for the consistency, for the consistency of, forgiveness of forgiveness of sins, of sins. deliverance for captives, for captives, and diversity of, of testimonies on this altar. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, lift your voice and speak to God and pray. Father, in Jesus' precious name, Amen. Hebrews chapter 12 and in verse 24, it says, Unto Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of the sprinkling that speaketh better things than 
that of Abel. In Revelation 12, 11, it said, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Lift your voice and let's pray and say after me, say, Father, Father we, overcome we overcome every negative, every negative hostile, hostile, antagonistic, antagonistic agenda, agenda against your heart in our midst on this altar. On this altar. We, overcome them we overcome them by the power, by the power of the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus. Name of Lift Jesus. your voice and pray. Yes, we overcome every negative, hostile, antagonistic agenda against your heart on this altar by the power of the blood. We have come every time to deliver the attack of the agenda. In case you are seeing us, help us all. In the name of Jesus. John chapter 1 and verse 12. He said, but as many as received him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. Romans 8, 19. He said, the endless expectation of creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day. In, the power in the power and manifestation, and manifestation of, sonship of sonship to subdue, to subdue every, manifestation every manifestation of the enemy, of the enemy and his agent, O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, I step into, I step into this, new this new day in the power, in the power and manifestation, and manifestation of, sonship of sonship to subdue, to subdue every, manifestation every manifestation of the enemy of the and his agent, O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and speak to In Jesus precious name Galatians chapter 3 and in verse 13 it says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law be made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith somebody say aloud amen. amen amen in Job 33 verse 24 I want you to read it with me one to go then, then he is gracious, gracious unto, unto him, him and said, deliver, deliver him from going down to, down to the pit. pit. I, I have, have found a ransom. Hey! 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 You are not permitted to go down to the pit. Amen. You are not permitted to die before your time. Amen. Because God has found a ransom. Amen. His name is Jesus. Amen. Ay, 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 ay. Read it again. Place it on the screen. One to go. Then he's gracious unto him and say, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. Give the Lord a bigger club and a shout of praise. Now lift your voice and pray and say, Father. 
I declare, I declare new, this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of redemption, of redemption rescue, rescue, recovery, recovery and release by, by the sacrifice of Calvary. Of Calvary. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare this new day as my day of redemption, of rescue, of recovery, of release by the sacrifice of Calvary. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice. And <laughs> In Jesus, precious name, the Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Everybody read it together. Want to go? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Revelation chapter 5 and in verse 12. Read together. One to go. Saying with a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Woo! He was slain to receive all of that for us. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, receive I receive the full package, the full package of, all of all that has been purchased, has been purchased for, me for me at Calvary, at Calvary by the sacrifice, by the sacrifice of, Jesus of Jesus on the cross. On the cross. I receive them, Lord, receive in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name. The Lord has said and answered us in Jesus name. Hebrews chapter 10 and in verse 19 the Bible said, having therefore brethren boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. And Hebrews chapter 4 and in verse 16, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, step I step in with boldness, with boldness into the holy, into the holy of, holies of holies by the blood, by the blood of, Jesus. of Jesus. And I receive, and I receive answers, answers to my prayers, to my prayers tonight, tonight, Lord, tonight, Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, I step I in step with boldness, with boldness into, the holy, into the holy of holies, of holies by the blood, the blood of, Jesus. of Jesus. And I receive, I receive answers, answers to my prayers, my prayers tonight, Lord, in in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Pray. I receive. I receive. I receive. Jesus, precious name. Amen. By the power of the cross of Calvary, the unrepentant wicked shall experience their destruction. Amen. Philippians chapter 1 verse 28. Read it. One to go. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, 
but to you of salvation and that of God. That is, once people begin to rise against you without you doing nothing, it is a signal of their destruction. It's an evident token of their perdition. But of you is your salvation. So don't be afraid of the uprising of the devil. It is a signal of their destruction. And a symbol of your liberation. Amen. Say after me, say, Father, Father we, bring we bring the unrepentant, the unrepentant wicked, wicked and their wickedness, wickedness into defeat and destruction, and destruction by the power and authority of your word. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go on ahead and pray. The unrepentant wicked and their wickedness into defeat and destruction by the power and authority of your war in the name of Jesus. We bring the unrepentant wicked and their wickedness into defeat, into defeat and destruction by the power and authority of your war. Hold on. Jesus precious name. Amen. Tonight we want to release the fire of God's judgment on every enemy altar of strange disease, sudden untimely death, bad news, evil report, surprise attacks, unexpected battles. You just stepped into a battle. That devil is a liar. Amen. And every form of enemy distraction, we want to set them on fire tonight. Amen. Psalm 46, verse 8 to verse 11. I'd like you to read it. Everybody want to go. He say, Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he has made in the earth. Look at verse 9. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. Your war is ceasing today. He breaketh the bow. And cut the spear in sunder. He burned the chariot. Every if his instrument of war is set on fire tonight. Amen. Then he said, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the hidden. I will be exalted. Hallelujah. Lift up. Now, okay, read verse 11. One to go loud and clear. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob. It's our Christ. refuge. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your voice and pray after me and say, Father, Father we, release we release the fire, the fire of your judgment, your judgment on every enemy, on every enemy altar, altar of strange disease, 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 sudden, sudden untimely death, death, bad news, bad news evil report, evil report surprise, attack, surprise attack, unexpected, unexpected battles, battles, and enemy destruction. We ask that they be set on fire. Now! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. We release the fire of your judgment on every enemy altar of strange disease, sudden, untimely death, bad news, evil report, surprise attacks, unexpected battles, and enemy distractions. We declare that they be set on fire. Jesus. Precious name. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. John chapter 19 and in verse 30. He said, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. Amen. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Whatever the finished work of Calvary has released for you, you will receive it today. Amen. Say after me, say, Father, Father I, draw I draw from Calvary, from Calvary today, today the, benefit the benefit of the finished work of, work of, Christ, of Christ on the cross. On the cross. 
Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, I draw from Calvary today the benefit of the finished work of Christ on the cross. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. Jesus precious name the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name finally John chapter 12 verse 32 he said and I if I be lifted up from the earth will draw all men unto me this season is a season when he was lifted up from the earth and he is to draw all men lift your voice and say father, father we, ask we ask that you will draw all men draw all to yourself to in this season as your son Jesus Christ is lifted up. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you will draw all men to yourself in this season as your son Jesus Christ is lifted up. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Jesus, precious name. Celebrate God one minute as before we proceed to more testimonies. Let's go. Celebration. Please be seated wherever you are. And please, I want the crowd control and ushers and, so, and the security to, have, to ensure that people roaming outside and everywhere is avoided. Ensure that if you came for the vigil you are in, all the way to the garden, please ensure that no one is trained and staying there. God bless you in Jesus' name. We'll look at a couple more testimonies and then personal supplication. And after that, we'll turn Dr. Ron Kennelly loose. All right, let's go as we look at personal, I mean, uh, the further testimonies. Want to go? This is Sister Rose from Lagos. Good morning to all Commander Demi and I prayer family. Above all, that is my place. My sister introduced me to this prayer altar. And by the grace of God, I've been following the prayers and trusting God. I am here to testify to the glory of God for his protection. On 17th of March, 2024, 
God's servant, Dr. Paul in Nature, mentioned that God showed him a fire incident that he has arrested. But God will give him a sign. Give a sign. This is my fish. All right, there is this one. My five. We have, we have, but it has not been used for over a year. Not charged to. My brother left it on, on one of the chairs in the living room. On the 20th of March, 2024, around 5 a.m., a loud sound like an explosion woke us from sleep. Only to discover the my fire, which was not charged for over a year, exploded and caught fire. Burned the chair, two throw pillows, and some part of the my fire, which with flames fell on the floor close to the center rug and other chairs. I'm here to return all thanks to God for preservation and protection. And also that this did not happen when no one was at home. At the, as the house would have gone up in flames. This is a house that we are mostly not around as we go to work and return late. I return thanks and adoration to God for saving us from these fire incidents. Pictures, incident, pictures and declaration attached. All right, go on. He wanted to burn down your office before this week is out and that agenda is frustrated it will not happen hey in the name of jesus i prophesy to everybody here every calamity every disaster every catastrophe organized for the devil for you against you this week it is cancelled every 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 calamity catastrophe disaster organized for the devil by the devil for you this month is cancelled all right let's go oh samuel Abu, from abuja testimony praise the lord i've come to return my praises to god and declare this testimony as i had promised him upon healing my school son's four-year-old daughter of liver failure all the way in ibadan on the 20th of february 2024 and about 10 56 p.m my school son called me for help and assistance that his daughter was dying of liver failure i shouted it is not possible as i was shocked and confused that this could not could happen to one at such a tender age i held on to faith since i was preparing for the prayer at that time i immediately added him to my forwarding contacts list and charged him to connect against all odds and he did Two days later, he called me and said someone in the hospital told him that he was listening to one of the prayers during the commanding the day midnight prayer and a declaration was made, I quote, there is a child right now on the hospital bed who has been diagnosed of early stage liver failure. I command that affliction to go back to hell in the name of Jesus and that since that day, the child who was bloating and lying almost lifeless began to move. Even the medical team who we are contemplating on the next course of action had to conclude that this can only be God. A few days after, bam, praise the Lord, the baby requested to use the toilet. And that was it. Everything associated with the so-called liver-related issue came out. And she's now healthy and well, all within two weeks. This can only be God. And I take it not for granted. Though I've been searching for the declaration video, picture hearing attached, with a short thank you clip from the baby. Indeed, our God is a prayer answering God against all distance. Look at the baby bloated tummy with chronic liver disease, I mean, early stage liver disease. And then declarations were made. Keep going. This is the same baby. Tommy is depleted, deflated. Wow. They, they were passing her through the CT scan. Yes, that's passing through the CT scan. Did you see that bloated tummy? Hallelujah! Only 
only he could have done a thing like this. Let's give him the praise and a shout of praise and victory. Everyone with any child anywhere where they are afflicted or anybody connected, related, associated with you, afflicted by the devil in any way, that affliction is over right now. In the name of Jesus. The next one. Sister Chidima in Abuja. Ola, ola, ola. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Greetings to every commanding the day, midnight prayer member and crew. Indeed, there is God on this fire altar. I joined commanding the day, midnight prayer on the 1st of January, 2024. And I can say for a fact that God answers prayer. Oh, on the 7th of January, I paid a tithe by faith. The highest in my life in advance. Asking God to give me a job. Boom. On the 28th of January, 2024. The Lord put my word in the mouth of his servant. And the first declaration was for me. He said, I take authority over that climate of closed heavens. That dryness that is upon your life that you've experienced for a while is broken. And as I'm speaking to somebody whose name means God is good in your dialect. People of God, I am from the eastern part of Nigeria. And my name is Chidima, meaning God is good. Oh. For a while, I've experienced dryness in my career. And when that word came, my sister, and I received it, then I sealed it to the seed. My brethren, on the 2nd of March, I got a message from a lady who I did a job for in 2020. Asking if I'm available to work. I shouted, commanding the day midnight prayers works. Oh. Then I replied I immediately with a capital yes. This job came with ease. She booked my flight, paid for my accommodation, feeding, and even sent a driver to pick me up, take me to the airport. Hmm. The shocking thing is that the payment at the end of the job was 90% of the 10% I paid. As tight. On the 7th of January. And this is equivalent to 10 times my salary. That I got in 3 days. Are you just sitting and looking like that? Oh! Ola, ola, ola. This God is too good. May God bless our spiritual parents. And all the commanded day midnight prayer crew. In Jesus name. Amen. That her name was mentioned. Somebody whose name means God is good in your dialect. You've been under a climate of dryness, and that climate is over. Boom. Let's hear the declaration. Name is Chidema. Lift up your two hands. Father, thank you, the God of your greatness and your presence. I take authority over that climate of closed heavens. That Look, dryness sorry. that is upon your life, you've experienced for a while. Dryness spiritually, dryness financially, dryness in your career. Everything looks dry and tight. Tonight, by the prophetic and apostolic mantle of God on my life, I declare that dryness is broken. I declare that dryness is broken. That dryness is broken. That dryness is broken. That dryness is broken. I am speaking to somebody whose name means God is good. Among others, in, 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 your, in your dialect, it means God is good. Now you are experiencing so much dryness over your life and so much limitations around your destiny. It is broken before this week is out. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Everyone in that category experiencing any form of dryness, the end of dryness has come. Can I hear it louder? Amen. We have one or two more. Percy Sibanda from Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Greetings, Saman, the commander the crew. I had shared my testimony a while back, but I was, it wasn't aired. And pastor said we can resend our testimonies. God is faithful. And it's God who makes the impossible possible. I want to give God all the glory for he answered my situation. I joined the midnight prayer some time last year. And I have seen God's hand in my life since then. On the 20th of January, my daughter who is four months old, was admitted, admitted at Meta Day Hospital because she had bronchitis and during the admission process, she choked while in the hospital bed sleeping. And she began to have seizures like the way it happened, it was not normal. The nurses panicked and put her on oxygen. But after that, her situation worsened and she ended up being taken to the intensive care unit where they said she had aspirated that is food and other things went the wrong way, went into the lungs. That's aspiration. Will lead to aspiration pneumonitis. That's right. And that she now has aspiration pneumonia. 
she was put inside the incubator and ventilator machines as they say she couldn't breathe on her own and they put her in, in induced coma wow for eight days and her saturation oxygen saturation kept dropping from 95 to 77 during the commanding the day prayers pastor mentioned her situation saying that child in the incubator and on life support is getting healed i jumped up with a loud voice and mentioned her name and i received that word even the nurses looking after her we are now connecting to the service nurses in zimbabwe believing god for a miracle as the doctor started to say she was in distress and have run out of ways to help her because they said the infection was clearing but she didn't seem to get better two days later on the 25th of january the pastor mentioned her situation and said that person in the ventilator failing to breathe having issues with oxygen that arrow of sudden death is checked back to hell now it was the nurses shouting amen the following morning my daughter removed the ventilator tube in her mouth does that sound normal to you yeah people are just sitting and looking she removed the ventilator from her mouth on her own and started breathing on her own in panic doctors started running up and down asking how a four month old sedated baby could have removed the tubes hey it can only be god after that she woke up and started breathing on her own very well and she was fine we are back home now and she's fully recovered and her healing is complete we hey we give god all the glory amen in bulawayo zimbabwe show us the pictures and they declare that was baby in the incubator when the prophetic word came that baby in the incubator battling with breathing and oxygen right now receive your healing and all the way in zimbabwe almost six hours flight from abuja here the baby had the world jesus see all the gadgets on the little baby needed for her to breathe let's let's look at the declaration if it is attached Stand up on your feet, somebody. Stand up on your feet. This can only be God. Only be God. Only be God. And what he said, what I said to one, I said to all. Anyone, anywhere around the world, where you have a relation, a child, a baby on life support, on ventilators, and they are unable, are shut on oxygen, in the name of Jesus, I declare, they are coming back alive. They shall fulfill their days and fulfill their destiny. Celebrate God for one minute, and then we'll go to supplication. Let's go. Celebration. You are the mighty, 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 mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty, 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 mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah.
30 seconds to appreciate God for all the testimonies you have. You can take your position, kneel down, sit down, whatever. And then use another 60 seconds and present to God whatever you want him to do for you. Lord, I'm trusting you for this. I'm trusting you for that. Just go ahead. If God can bring back up a child that was on ventilator, doctors don't know what to do anymore, then God can change your story. Go on ahead. The Lord has heard and answered us. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lift up your hands now and receive answers to your prayers. If you are on your seat, you could stand and lift your hands. If you want to sit, you can, but just lift up your hands and receive your answers. Sing and save
Lift up your two hands, I prophesy right now. The Lord showed me a battle with the spirit of death, a battle, just serious battle. Where the enemy is trying to insist on snatching a loved one. With a terminal affliction. I stand there today by the apostolic and prophetic mantle of God. And by the altar of Calvary. By the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. I declare that death verdict is cancelled. I curse the spirit of cancer. I curse terminal organ failure. Liver failure, kidney failure, lung failure, heart failure. I curse you. Lose your grip now. Mahashada Galayada. Mahoshato Kalayada. Trying to fly out of the country. Whether it's to Europe, whether it's to India, wherever it is. I declare today that verdict of hell, that verdict of hell is cancelled. Somebody has been healed of a right kidney affliction. I take authority over that right kidney affliction. Your tenor expired right now in the name of Jesus. Someone has been healed of a neck affliction, cervical spondylosis or any other form of neck affliction. I declare it arrested right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody's been healed of a, a waste condition. I declare that waste affliction is arrested. Somebody is healing of a right shoulder condition is hereby confirmed. I declare the healing of this right shoulder. The healing of this right shoulder. Satan, take your hands of the right shoulder of this person. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lift up your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Please be focused on God. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands and focus here.
Lift your hands. That will soon come up shortly. God has something in store for you. He has a healing for you. He has a deliverance for you. That left eye affliction is being healed right now. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the praise. That sickle cell anemia is being cleared out right now. That conspiracy against somebody's life, conspiracy against your life, conspiracy of death, I declare the conspiracy is scattered in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. You will fulfill your days. The enemy will not take you out before your time. In the name that is above every name. That occultic manipulation will no longer work. God is speaking to everyone here. But it's a lady with a name that starts with a C like a Clara. I declare today that satanic conspiracy over your life. Satanic conspiracy over your destiny. Satanic conspiracy against you is hereby cancelled. Lift your hands everywhere you are. And when I say in the name of Jesus, you place it on, your, on yourself and scream, I receive. And then receive what God has in store for you today. Father, let it flow. Let the fire flow. Let the power flow. Let, let, let the releases happen. Let the healings take place. Let the deliverance take place. Let the liberation take place. Let the breakthroughs take place. Receive the touch of God right now. In the name of Jesus. When I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you scream and receive. And you place your hand on yourself. Father, let it be. In the name of Jesus, one, two, and then three. just been rolled off. I see divine intervention in someone who is under very intense financial pressure. Tonight God is intervening in your case and turning around the lie, your, your story. The Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. That is what is happening to someone here. You believe that? Say aloud, loud, amen. There is a sin name also that came here with afflictions on the breast. Pain, growth, lump, Name starts with a C that God has just handled. Check it. If it's a lump, it's gone. If it's a pain, it's gone. If it's a sensation, it's gone. And quickly rush to the front if you are that person. God has also uprooted a hyena from somebody. In Queen Oxcota, hyena, umbilical hyena. Thank you, Father, because it is done. Somebody's right shoulder is healed. I take authority over that right shoulder affliction. Give the Lord a celebration as they, as they step forward here. Wherever you are, wherever you are, quickly step forward. Something happened to you. A C name with an affliction. God healed you. A shoulder condition is healed. Umbilical hynia, inguinal hynia is also healed. Give the Lord a big clap. Celebrations as they come forward. You are God. You are not just people. You are not please just sit down. The rest of us sit down, please. You are a Can we all take our seat? You are God. Oh, so you are big, 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 big
He said his name is Ank Anuku, a Nollywood actor, he said. That he had a, um, a power bike accident. He had what? He had what? A power bike accident. He had a power bike accident. Some two years ago and dislocated his right shoulder. That, that shoulder had um, terrible pains, he felt, until he came and here. he had to move. He had to move. And but nice. he just lifted and all pains had disappeared, Every sir. Every pain is gone. Move it. Yes, sir. Ank Anoko. Are you just looking like that? See what the Lord has done for Give the Lord a praise. He has taken away my sorrows and I got a prayer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Jesus. That is above every day. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Freedom. ago in her shop, she mysteriously fell, slumped actually, and since then couldn't walk by herself. Coming in for this service this evening, she was aided by two people and supported also by this walker. But while the declarations were on, sir, the whole world is watching what God is doing in this place. She said the power of God saw through her, and she began to walk all by herself from the back, unaided, and without this stick, Lifted it up and walked all the way to the Those front. Who aided her, can we see them? The people that aided her when she came, just come for a reconfirmation. Everyone watching online, commanding the day, midnight prayer is still on. Um, tonight is a bit extended because we are in the middle of Good Friday worship and wonders night. Hallelujah. Those who aided her to come, and then the, the people in London, England. You have less than two weeks to be with you. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. London buses are all painted. And we shall be in Wembley, 11th and 12th of April, the glory of his presence. The advert is on. If you have not registered, go ahead and register. The venue is almost booked out. Few sitting spaces available. Russian, if you don't know how to register, you let us know online and they will assist you in registering. Go ahead, give the Lord a praise. I saw it massive, I told him at one point. They were trooping and. All right, let, let, let's rush. You know who he is, you remember.
remain unknown in your generation. The people that do know their God, the people that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do as well. The knowledge of God is the foundation for excellence. Give the Lord a big clap and a last shot. Are you, are you among those who came with her? Show us how you walked with her when you came. She held her hand, she held her hand while I held her, the bag she came along with. She held her hand yes. while you held the bag. All right, Go, show us how you came. She rested severally. Power of the Holy help. What happened before she became like that? No, we just asked her. She told we, we met her on the platform there while coming. All right. So now she asked this uh, lady to assist her. And to assist her. Then I collected her bag. She slumped in her shop and became paralyzed. Every arrow of destruction following you is retrieved and refired back to hell. Shout the loudest, amen. Stand up now. Stand up. Yeah, that's right. Excellent. That's my chair. They go and sit there. Somebody give the king the praise. Give the king the praise. Never, 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 I never see any God like you. 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 You have some C names. Let, let me take the two of them. While rounding up the commanded the day midnight prayer, God servant gave a word that someone with a C name, this is confidence and comfort. Wow. Had growth on the left breast for for more than a month now with excruciating pain. She could barely sleep with that pain. Confidence had a growth on the left breast the left more, than breast, more than a growth month. Growth and pain, she could hardly sleep. And what happened tonight? Now the pain is gone, the growth is also gone. Are you just sitting and looking like that? Pain is gone. Growth is gone. Stand here. I announce today, every mountain in your life is over. Also, Sister Comfort here had a growth on the right breast and also excruciating pain. She says she could barely lift her hand because of the pain. Of the pain of the other growth. As soon as the word went for the pain took up to hell, also the growth all gone by the power of God. Sister Comfort, lift your hand. You couldn't live before. Pain is gone. Growth is Pain gone. Is gone the growth Power of the Holy Ghost. You are free. And this yes. is Sister Christiana, also with a growth in the left breast, excruciating pains. The pain has subsided. The mass looks like it has dropped, and she came out. It's over. That spirit of death is cursed. Cancer. Dry to your roots. Because of time, if we take two or three, we have a very long list. Just two or three. There's someone who, who just walked out to the, the crutch. Let us know. If there's any hyena among them, let me know. There's Why a hyena here. Go ahead. Why the senior pastor ministered? He spoke of a sin name. This is Sister Chica. She came into church this evening. She said for the past eight months thereabout, she has microfilariasis all over her body, with pains everywhere. She came in, and that declaration went forth. The pain took off. Everything is normal. She's breathing well. Congratulations. This is another C, Chima. Chima said, suddenly it, it began to struggle to breathe. 
she, he showed me a text on his phone that he sent to the senior pastor last week. Because he couldn't breathe, he was told he couldn't breathe, he was choking. He came to church this evening. He showed me on his notebook the prayer point he wrote. That Lord, as I'm coming to this meeting today, you will heal me of this breathlessness. While the word went forth, and the senior pastor said a C name, he jumped up and said, that is this word. Sir, as he's talking right now, the pain is gone. He's breathing well. He's standing well. Chim and chica, lift up your hands. Father, thank you for freedom. In the name of Jesus. Free, 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 free. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Sir, you talked about hernia. He came in with 10 years of inguinoscrotal hernia. He said once you mentioned that word, he felt the waist as if pure water busted. That's what he said. Wow. Yes. And he's totally free. Ten years. You are totally free. Ten years of inguinous crotal hernia disappeared. Can we give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise? Be free. Here is another. Will you give me two or three more. Here is another sea name whose shoulder, right shoulder, was locked for over a year. She couldn't lift it. And now it is free. It's free. Wow, you can touch the other side. Come forward here. Give the Lord a big clap. Power, other help. People. Yes. Mother here lost her younger sister to breast cancer on the right breast. The younger sister died of breast cancer. Breast cancer, still in the mortuary. And oh. then she, she equally came down with breast cancer on the right breast with a painful lump. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Junior sister died of breast cancer. It's in the mortuary. And it's still in the mortuary. Not yet, and really. she also came, came down with down the same. With breast cancer on the right breast. God with forbid. A, with a painful lump that was... That, it's every spirit of death rolling all around you. It's been jabbed back to hell in your family line that said them something sharp. I cannot read this. Flew out of that of that breast. The lump is gone. The swelling is gone. The pain is gone. Step forward here. She's able you to will not die hand. like your sister died. I am announcing to somebody now. You won't die like they are dying in your family. The calamity of your family shall not be your calamity. In the name of Jesus, bring her Amen. back here. I command that spirit of death and cancer dry up. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Leave, 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 leave. Fulfill your days. I prophesy to somebody here. Leave, 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 leave. Fulfill your days. In the name of Jesus. Amen. More breast conditions healed here. Who took us? Yes, sir. Three months ago, I beloved sister started having pain in the, that um, right breast right there and went to the hospital and tests were conducted on her and there was also a very massive growth that appeared which became cancerous. Yes, sir, that was the diagnosis. But right now, sir, at the instance of that declaration, the power of God came up, came up on her and the pain disappeared on the spot to the glory of God, sir. Put your hands. Everybody. Dry up now. In the name of Jesus, dry up now. We are left, to your left breast condition, just healed. Pain, totally gone. You are Can you see totally the number? Gone. Can you see that the ministry of healing is not for entertainment? See the number of people afflicted, afflicted, afflicted. Who will not know their fate without God? What happened here? So mama here came with a very terrible knee condition on both knees, arthritis that lasted for 18 solid years. Eh? For 18 years, and my waist, by the work I do, I say one cut. I see if, if we are say one cut. Yeah, like one leg, one cut. I, I see one leg, stand. one cut. Yes, I cannot stand. How, how you take it? waka when you they come? I, want, I come with my son. Show us how you waka when you come. How you they use a stick? See? Yes. See, mama, they show us how she waka when she they come. After the prayer, what can I make we say? Give the Lord a praise. Mama, walk back here. Mama is dancing up. Oh, yeah, in a to ride your Yeah, in a name, we aim up. Oh, yeah, in a to ride
father, his mom, mama, congratulations. I, I, I want the other sister to now, you can give her his place on the protocol seat right there so that mama can sit on that chair one minute. Mama, go sit on the What happened to the husband? Diabetic situation of husband be healed in Jesus' name. The entire brain is healed in Jesus' name. Can we take one or two more? Yes, our beloved brother here, Michael, 15 years ago, he was sleeping and had a dream where someone came and shot him in that dream, sir. That was it. He passed out completely, only to wake up later in the day and realize that he was still alive. But that left a very massive pain right here, sir, where that bullet entered in the dream and he couldn't make use of this hand for the past 15 solid years. He went to the hospital, sir, and the scan was done, and they, and they showed that there was a, a big hole moving from the chest to the back, the same spot. Yes, Where sir. the bullet shot him Where in the, the dream. Entered. Yes, sir. Chai. Yes, sir. Very terrible pain, and also unable to make use of that hand for the past 15 years. Now, sir, you took authority over the spirits of death. As soon as that word went forth, he said that he felt something pulled out of that same spot and the hand lifted on the spot. And Every right now evil free. arrow they fired against you or your family is retrieved and fired back to hell. got married in the year 2012. He said when he got married, the Elok came to visit him and came with some food which he ate with him, in law himself and the wife. He said after then, any time he wants to get in touch with the wife, pain will come up. He got afflicted on the right side of the manhood. Every time he wants to have any contact with the... the, 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 the what did he do against the in law? They visited him and afflicted him with pain yes. in the body, including the manhood, yes, sir. so that he cannot relate to his wife. Yes, sir. And he called the in-law. The in-law said, just forgive me. Just forgive me. Just forgive me. That continued for 11 years. 11? Yes. Up to a point, sometimes he wanted to kill himself. Kill himself? Yes. That took him even out of the country to Saudi Arabia. All to no avail. He went to the hospital. They checked him. Nothing medically explained. Then so what came, happened? He came now to, to, to this service. And when you declared, fire entered into him. For the first time, that pain is blasted out of him. And there is a shock in that place now. And this is 11 years. Yes. Somebody is shouting. Somebody is shouting. Encountering all manner of dead spirits, relations that had died as he came. He said, ah, how did you say it left? It just flew out of him this evening. Give the Lord a prayer. Fatty liver blasted out from this woman. Fatty liver blasted out. Come forward. And uh, I, what eye condition was it? Blurry vision. Blurry vision here. Seeing clearly. Over. In Jesus' name. Can I have just two or three more at the most pastors? Right? Yeah, this please. is... This is Brother Oishoma. I believe that there are testimonies going on in all locations. If you have and you need for, to let us know, send us the, the details. Yes. This is Brother Oishoma promise. On Sunday, a fight broke out in, the, in their neighborhood. He went to separate the fight. They used stick to hit his eye. Since then, his eye has not been seen. 
and also he came with chest pain. As God's servant declared tonight, both the, the pain in the chest are gone and the eye cannot see. Is that what? Close the eye like this. Yes. Two fighting. See how red the eye is. It's well with you. Hold this for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you because of this healing. And I declare that these extraocular muscles will now function normal. And that the eye will open clear. Jesus! All pain go. It. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. It is permanent in Jesus' name. Another eye condition here healed, but not from fighting. <laughs> Congratulations in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for everyone's testimony here. We declare them permanent in Jesus' name. Can we stand up one minute and celebrate God for all these acts? Those watching via the satellite and the internet, anywhere you are watching, you are in need of surrender to Jesus. With forgiveness for your sins, pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I've decided to follow you, Lord, no turning back. Forward, ever, backward, never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Please remain standing. You pray that prayer, send us, send us the details online, and we shall come in contact with you. All right, please take your seat one minute, one minute. Yes, sir. To, to the glory of God, we have our beloved sister here, sir. You took authority over the spirit of death. She said she has had this death encounters and threats to the point that physically there was a day she was walking on two different occasions. Two people walked up to her and told her that they saw coffin around her. She also said that in her dream she sees her dead relatives coming to feast with her, inject substance into her vein and all that. She was also shot in the dream on her lungs and she came into the service finding it difficult to breathe but right now the power of God came upon her. Something flew out of her and now she's totally free to the glory of God, sir. Congratulations. Yes, I beloved, mama here came into the service with multiple lumps in the breast on both breasts. Sir, um, it was so terrible that the right breast was was taken off, it was operated and completely removed. And after that was done, two lumps still appeared again where the breast was removed from. And the breast also appeared in the, sec the second uh, breast. Sir. To attend to that woman. Yes. The same lumps appeared right there. She came in practically anemic, unable to walk. Oh, and now the power of God came upon her. She oh, began to walk you on the spot. Lead, you lumps will fulfill come. your days. You will, you will fulfill your days in the name of Jesus. Sister Laddie had four stillbirths. Four stillbirths. This four stillbirths. Yes, sir. This gave is birth to children four times yes, all dead. Yes, four times all dead. This is the first surviving child. The baby is just um, three weeks old. On the day of the naming of this baby, the spirit of insanity came upon her. She, yes, she became fully uncoordinated, was talking um, incoherently and became very aggressive. Was brought into, into the service tonight in that condition, sir. While ministrations were going on, the power of God came upon her. She became very calm, fully coordinated, and um, she's in her sanity. It is well with you. Amen. Give her the mark. Say, Jesus, Jesus. thank you. For giving me the gift of this child, the devil has lost. See, and the devil could not kill the child, he decided to try to tempt the mother. But both you and the baby, you are preserved in Jesus' precious name. Can we celebrate God for two minutes? Can we? 
Go ahead and give us a celebration song. Almighty, mighty God. Almighty, mighty God. Almighty, mighty God. Be up, Daniel. Let's celebrate. and give him the praise. Stand up on your feet every year with the Lord and shout out praise. Shake the hands of three people and tell them get ready because every affliction around your life is finished. Get ready, it is finished. Give the Lord a praise as you take your seat. I'll soon be bringing Dr. Ron up after an introduction Good hallelujah Lord. can somebody celebrate the king of kings and the lord of lords one more time <laughs> praise the lord tonight we are privileged to be blessed with the presence of a few dignitaries and we'll just quickly recognize them we have in our midst tonight ambassador jerry ugweke who came with Ron Kennelly. And we also have Ambassador Austria, Slovenia, and others here present tonight. Let's give the Lord a clap offering for them. We have also in our meet Ambassador Anderson Madubike, the Director of Policy Research and Statistics. Give the Lord a clap offering for the Ambassador. And of course, tonight, the last but not the least, His Excellency Peter O.B. is in our midst tonight. Go ahead and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. You are excited to be in the presence of the Lord. Shout the loudest, Amen. amen. The loudmost, amen. amen. Is somebody blessed tonight so far? Well, we have the 80 year old young man, Dr. Ron Kinoli. 
before he comes up, let me just say a few things. Dr. Ron and us have come a little way. Um, in the year of 2007, 2007, he was, we, we, invite, we, we invited him and had an event at the National Stadium, 2007. I'd like you to take a look at that clip at the National Stadium, 2007. 2007 is how many years now? 17 years. At the July 2007 event, after we held that meeting and then held another one in August and then held a final one in September, the government at that time said they won't give the stadium for use again to church, for church activity. So I told the people, as they will not give the stadium for use again, we will build our own stadium. Our own stadium that will be bigger than the, that stadium. And the difference in that one is that our own stadium will have the roof. So that when the rain, for because rain beat us there three times. So that when we have our own event, rain will not beat us. And Ron Kennelly was aware. During the construction, he came here with his children. And I took them up to the gallery and so forth and so on. And here we are in that stadium. So I told him, you are 80 years old. We are together at the other stadium. Come to our own stadium right now. And um, let us have a great time. We traveled with him to Lagos. Were you there in Lagos? Where did we meet? Indoor Sports Hall of National Stadium. We went to the Civic Center, Port Harcourt, and then just went around. And here we are again tonight. Dr. Kenoli is an honorary member of Dunamis International Gospel Center. Yes, yes. We will we'll make you do... A, a, a membership class and give you your certificate of membership. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because he has hinted Dr. And Mrs. Becky and Angel. And um, he has also indicated interest to be here as much as possible, even to go to the branch locations. So I told him, I said, all right, we'll work that out. We'll work that out. Um, what else? He has been to over 120 countries ministering and singing all over the world. But they say he hasn't been to any sanctuary like this anywhere in the world. I'm sure he will tell you that when he comes. Are you ready with the video clip? How come you showed us the video clip when Ron Kenali was not around? And now that he's around, you are finding it hard to bring it up. Is there a system challenge tonight? No, we... we we showed it any time we wanted in church. Anyone, they can show the short one, show anyone. At least show the still picture. Hallelujah. Dr. Kenali. Where is the clip with Dr. Ron? All right. While they get set, can we all stand upon our feet and receive the ministry of Dr. Ron Kenali all the way? When you talk about people that are patriarchs in every realm, there are patriarchs, there are apostles in every realm. Talk about the church planting ministry, gospel ministry, evangelistic ministry. This man is qualified to be called foremost apostle of worship globally. The only person that is of his generation in the forefront of worship will be John Moy. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying here today? They set the pace for worship worldwide. We listen to their worship in universities. It's, it set your climate on fire. Yes. 
And today we are here to experience that. The same way Maurice Cerullo passed here and dropped a patriarchal mantle. Hey! I believe that this is a mantle passing through here. That will be here again and again and again. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise as we make progress. He's a great grandfather now. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your presence in this building tonight, Father. You have manifested your presence. You have touched people's lives. You have turned lives around. You have set people on a new path of spirituality, Father. We thank you. We give you glory and we love you because there's no other God but you. I love you, Lord, for your mercies never fail me all my days. I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up till I lay. the goodness of God oh my life Bless the Lord with a hand clap tonight. You know, almost everything that we do when we come into the sanctuary, almost everything that we do is for us. The preaching is for us. The teaching is for us. The healing, the baby dedication, the offering, the communion, everything is for us. The only thing that the Father gets the only thing that he gets is our praise and our worship. So lift your hands tonight. Come on, lift your hands. 
Lift your hands and sing this again. All my life, you have been faithful. Lift your hands, my brother. Lift your hands. All my life, you have been so listen that word love is an action word it has to be demonstrated and Jesus said the world will know that that we the world will know that we love him because we have love for one another and you can't just think you love somebody M mother Becky is it all right for pastor Paul to just think he loves you no my brother you you got this, you, you got to get real, sweetheart. I love you. All right? Amen. Well, I want you to demonstrate love for one another tonight. I want you to go to at least three people who are better looking than you and give them a hug. Let no hand go unshaken. Let no face go unsmiled upon. Go ahead and show your love. Hallelujah. Let no hand go unsh unshaken. Let no face go unsmiled upon. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's be glad about it. Let's demonstrate our love. Hallelujah.
with a sacrifice. Now the men with a song. Blessed be. said the kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but righteousness, peace, and righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Come on, man. Let's do it. Here we go.
I'm about to do a song. We are, we are about to do a song that I'm sure you all know. You probably have never heard it the way I do it. Okay? And you're going to recognize it. So begin to sing with me when you, when you realize what the song is. All right? Go ahead, guys.
flat. Do re mi fa. Okay, E flat, E flat. Uh, I see three people dancing over here. Mother Becky and this lady and this other lady, she can't hold her praise back. Okay, now. Mother Becky and her children. Mother Becky and her children. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, give me some protocol. Give me about four or five protocol, guys. Come on, quick, hey, protocol, pay attention to me. Okay, I want you to surround, get four or five guys and surround those ladies. Come on, get four or five guys and surround those ladies. Okay, in front of them. In front of them. Okay, and spread out because I don't want other people to trample over them. Now, I know there are more people in here who want to dance than these three ladies. Am I right? Am I right? Hey, my God is good. Oh. we do today
Pastor Paul, Dr. Paul, no, wait, I'm not going to ask you. Uh, Mama Becky, how, how many years married? How many? 30. 30 years. Okay, I want you guys to sit down. Sit down, Mama, sit down. I want you guys to join hands. Because... This is a love song. This, this, this is a love song. Now listen, don't go nowhere. We have to remember, listen. The whole New Testament is a love story. It's about a man who has chosen his bride and he's going away to prepare a place for his bride and he's coming back for his bride. Am I right? Am I right? It's a love story. Okay, so if you are sitting next to your spouse, I, I want you to hold her hand. O okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, hold her hand. Now, I want you guys, all the guys, all the guys, all, of, all the men, all the men, look at your wife. Look at her. Look, look. Bring it down back there. Bring it down. Look at your wife and say in your most romantic voice, I want you to say, I love you, my dear. You are the love of my life. You are the hope that I cling to. You mean more than this world to me. I wouldn't trade you for silver or gold. I wouldn't trade you. I wouldn't trade you for riches untold.
James, are you there? Wave your hand. Where's James? Okay. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm going to put my glasses on here. All right? Turn it up. We've been deceived by the devil too long. We're going to tear the devil's kingdom down. What he said was his. Church, those things have been ours all along. Tonight, this morning, we're going to tear the devil's kingdom down. Sing with me. We're going up to the high place. We're going up to the high place. We're going up. We're going up to the high place. We're going to tear the devil's king. Church, let's go up. We're going up. We're going up to the high. We're going up to the high place. To the high place. To tell the devil's kingdom down. Listen. We've been deceived by the devil too long. We're going to tear the devil's kingdom down. We're going to reclaim everything the devil stole. the armies of God and the armies 
weapons of the devil. And there is no demilitarized zone. We are on the devil's side or on the Lord's side. How many on the Lord's side tonight? All right, we're looking good. But listen, we know that Jesus, our Savior, he's, he's, he's completed the ultimate victory by his death, the shedding of blood on the cross. But he's given us a responsibility to keep and maintain those things that he's purchased for us by his blood. Things like righteousness in our homes and, and peace in our communities, righteousness in our government. These are things that the devil is always trying to steal. But as the army of God, we are taking back what the devil stole. Can I get a witness tonight? Hallelujah. Well, put on the whole armor of God and let's go up to the high places and tear the devil's kingdom down. Are you with me? Are you with me? Come on, are you with me? We're going up to the high places. We're going Let's go up.
we often forfeit. Play bad. There is 
Like the fragrance after the rain, Jesus, 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 oh Jesus, let all heaven, all heaven and earth, and earth proclaim. proclaim Kings and kingdoms will all pass away, pass away. but there's something, there's something about, about that but name. One hour, four minutes for an 80-year-old to stand on his feet. Go ahead and give him the praise. King and kingdom, the Lord, take away. There's not something about God name. Kings and kingdoms, the Lord, fade away. There's just something about that day. Lift your hands and worship it. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Generated here today, and will return all the glory and the praise to you. Be thou exalted in Jesus' precious name. We have worshipped. Please, you may be comfortably seated. This was awesome.
Thank you, sir. Dr. Ronkinoli took us all the way back. I saw the school children, at some point they were chewing their mouths, just chewing their lips to the lyrics. Praise the Lord. Did you notice the dancing that uh, our children were dancing? Those were some of the choreographies that they used to do when they were like, you know, younger children. And it's a fixed deposit. Anything in the children's life from where they are, it's a fixed deposit. They didn't rehearse the choreography, but they danced it because it was in there. What a mighty God we serve. We believe that this generational blessing that is passed through, passing through here today has left a tangible deposit in our lives in Jesus' name. I will not be taking further time. We'll be receiving Dunami's voice so that we can let God's servant loose for further ministration. Um, you have your tithe and offering and whatever you brought before the Lord. We'll be presenting that in a minute. Um, in John chapter 19, in John chapter 19 and in verse 30, it says, And Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, and he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Our theme in tonight's cross, um, tonight's, yeah, it's almost like a crossover, um, Good Friday service, it is finished. Every situation in your life that has defiled anything in the past, it is finished. It is finished. It is finished in Jesus' name. We want to welcome everybody that is here. A lot of recognitions have been made. We also welcome our foreign delegates. We have people here from 24 nations. Um, 24 nations. Uh, 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 ambassador, some of your people are here from Australia. And we have people from Belgium, Benin Republic, Botswana, Cameroon, Ga Canada, France, Germany, Ghana, Kenya, Niger Republic, South Africa, Sweden, Switzerland, the Netherlands, Togo, United Kingdom, the United States of America, Zambia, Guinea Conakry, Italy, Sierra Leone, Malaysia, and Zimbabwe. Can we celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? And all of you that are watching all over the world, I see our dynamic locations all over the world. I saw um, um, all over, all over. They are all there in Germany, in uh, everywhere, um, Manchester, everywhere. You are all blessed. Sir? Germany. Yes, sir. Okay. Germany and everywhere. You are all blessed. Our lives and destinies will never remain the same. You have your offerings. Lift it up as uh, I bless it. Father, I ask for your blessing to rest upon what we have brought to you today. We ask for God that you open the windows of heaven concerning our lives. Pour us out a blessing we will not have room enough to contain in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate the King of Kings. So we are looking forward to more power, more of you in my life, and many more. But I know choir is going to sing some. No, they are not. Okay, they are singing songs received and written by God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. As a singer and minister, I believe you'll be blessed. Let's receive them with a clap offering.
express our gratitude to God for his love, express our gratitude for his help. We are indebted to him by his love. We are saved. We are safe. Father, we thank you for your love. Blessed be your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. We are going to take like three or four minutes and we are going to pray in expectation as God's servant comes up. We want to ask specifically tonight, Father, we have worshipped you. Dr. Ron Kinoli said, every time we come to church, everything we do really is for our own benefits. The message is for our benefit. The preaching is for our benefit. The healing and deliverances are for our benefit. Salvation is for our benefit. But the only, God, the only thing that God derives from us in a worship service is our worship. And we've offered him qualitative worship tonight. We're going to pray and say, Father... We have brought before you what you love, what you enjoy. We have worshipped you on this Good Friday. We ask, oh God, that now you grant us our heart's desires. Remember where we read in John chapter 19 and verse 30, where it says, And when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. It is finished means it is accomplished. It is finished means... It has been performed. It is finished means the issue that was a challenge has expired. It is finished means that it has been paid for. It is finished means it has been performed. It is finished means that an end has been made. It is finished means that a debt has been cancelled. And so tonight, I don't know what it is that you want God to do to you, for you, that applies to any of, that any of this applies to. Maybe you want a debt cancellation. Maybe you want the end of an affliction or an end, the termination of a limitation. Maybe you want the end of something that is not working in your life. Lift up your voice and say, Father, Father, Tonight, I ask, according to your word, on Good Friday, many years ago, you said, it is finished. Jesus, I ask that it is finished concerning every limitation in my life tonight in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and talk to God. Le 
of the righteous shall not be shall not be cut off it also says though it tarry wait for it is there a promise hanging concerning your life the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak it shall not lie though it tarry do what wait for it why because it will surely come it will not tarry what are your expectations concerning your life concerning your health concerning your finances concerning your marriage concerning your nation concerning anything that pertains to you tonight i want you to spell it out tell god father it looks like it has delayed i haven't seen the manifestation but tonight this it is finished night. I ask that you finish it. Complete the transaction. Conclude the interaction. Let it come to an end. Lift your voice and pray. Father, let it come to an end. Seal it over. Crown it over. Complete it over. Bring it to conclusion. Bring it to conclusion. Yes, Yes, we're going to pray. I think finally we're going to pray. And we're going to declare. There are people that start projects and are not able to finish. They start building and can't complete. Women that frequently have miscarriages, they started a pregnancy journey and it couldn't be finished. The finishing of it is the safe delivery of a child. People are in relationship. Relationship starts and then it breaks up. It couldn't finish. Finishing means that they got married. Anything that you have started ever and you are not able to complete, tonight is your completion night. Amen. Lift up your voice and say, Father, Amen. every uncompleted project, every unfinished project in my life, I declare, tonight you are finished. Lift up your voice and pray. Finished. 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 No more uncompleted projects. No more uncompleted projects. Let's show the love of the mother. Let's take 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 the love of the mother. No more. No more. No more uncompleted projects. No more finished projects. No more finished agenda. Let's 
No more uncompleted projects. No more failure at the edge of breakthrough. No more starting without finishing. In Jesus' name. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Please stand on your feet and let's take this song. Yakare. Yakare, Yakare, Yesu Yake Yakare. Stand and celebrate it. It is finished in Hausa. Go. to the Lord the voice of triumph and be seated one minute. Hallelujah. Somebody say loud amen. 
we are, in this case, experiencing God's power and presence like never before. I'm going to give you a very sharp word. Um, I've received a, a message already. But this is, it is finished. Under 10, 15 minutes, I'll give you 10 points and 10 areas where we believe that it is finished. John chapter 19 and in verse 30, John 19 and in verse 30, the Bible said, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Somebody say a loud amen. I want to quickly understand the finished work of Christ at Calvary. What is it? What happened? What, did, what was it that finished? By way of introduction, it's important to note that Jesus did a finished, completed, perfected work at Calvary. It was a finished, it was a completed, and it was a perfected work. When you, say, when you are talking about finishing of a house, you are talking about perfection. It should, it should be made clear to everyone that it was not an unfinished work. It was not an incomplete work. It was not an inconclusive work. Like someone said some time ago, he didn't say to be continued. It finished. At Calvary. I want to announce to someone here today everything that seemed abandoned in your life today completion is coming the era of starting without finishing expires forever if you are saying amen say it like a believer Lift your hands and shout at the top of your voice. It is finished. Make it loudest. It is finished. Now shout it at the top of your voice one more time. It is finished. Would you help me look at somebody by your side and tell them it is finished. Like we did it some time ago. Do you know what, what, what is Finnish is in your language? Say it to somebody in your language, it is finished. <laughs> Say it, it is finished. Let me give you 10 areas in which it is finished and what was finished. Number one, God's plan. For the rescue and redemption of man was finished. In Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. It says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. Be made a curse for us for it is written. Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. God had a plan. When man fell in the garden of Eden. God initiated and instituted a plan. That plan was for the rescue. That plan was for the redemption of mankind. And when Jesus gave up the ghost and said, it is finished, it means there is nothing God needed to do anymore as far as the rescue and redemption of man was concerned. It is finished. Today, I speak to someone here to, right now, pertaining your rescue, pertaining redemption, I declare it is finished. In the voice of our master, it is finished. Somebody say a louder amen. amen. What is finished, number two, is the redemption of man to God's original plan and purpose. God had an original plan. He had an original purpose for man. But that plan was perverted in the Garden of Eden. That was why the Bible said in Romans 3, 23, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But when Christ came in Colossians chapter 1 and in verse 27, he said, to whom God will make known 
what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, is the hope of glory. That is, he sent Christ to restore us back to the glory that we lost. I don't know who is here this night. I decree today that original plan of God for your life that the devil has been tampering with by this nice declaration. I declare that plan is concluded. The original plan and purpose of God for our, our nation, for our world, I declare it is perfected. It is completed. If you believe that, lift your right and say, it is finished. Louder at the top of your voice, say, it is finished. Louder still shout, it is finished. What is finished? Number three. The separation that existed between man and God. Between God and man. That separation ended. When Jesus died, whatever gave distance between God and man expired. That means it was possible for man and God to come together back again. In Genesis chapter 3 and in verse 21, when man fell from the Garden of Eden, God made coats of, 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 of skin and clothed them. Verse 22 uh, and then verse 23. Uh, and then, therefore God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden. He sent man forth. He sent him out of the Garden of Eden to go and till the ground. From that moment forward, there was a separation. And then in verse 24, he put a sword, a sword in the garden. In other words, man was driven away from God's presence. So man went into all manner of occult practice, all manner of things in the search for the supernatural. But when Jesus said, it is finished, and the curtain of the temple was torn from top to bottom, it means the door is open. You are welcome back. Man, return back. The separation has expired. Somebody say loud, amen. No wonder he said in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and in verse 21, he said, for he has made him to be seen who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. We then as workers together beseech you. No, second, second, second Corinthians 5. Second Corinthians 5. All right, start from verse 17. Therefore, if any man is being Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. And he said, and all things are of God. Who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. When he said it is finished, it means the separation that existed has expired. I decree for somebody here today. Every distance between you and every, every trace of lack of feeling for, of divine presence that existed before now. I declare tonight they expire in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe that, say loud, amen. What is finished? Number, number four. The rule, that's number four, right? The rule and reign of iniquity over the life of man is finished. It says sin shall have no dominion over you. That was Romans chapter six. Because you are not under the law, but under grace. The rule, the reign of the dominion of iniquity expired. That is, you are not, you are not permitted any longer to be a slave to iniquity. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live. Yet not I. But Christ live in me. And the life I live in the flesh I live by the grace of the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Sin is not controlling me now. Iniquity is not dominating me. The rule, the reign, the dominion. The kind of things that I do without my control. Smoking without my control. Drinking without my control. The thing that I am moved to do and I am helplessly hopeless in behaving in certain ways. He said that dominion is finished. Everyone seated here tonight and everyone connected from all around the world. Every dominion of iniquity, every dominion, everything that has made you a captive of yourself. I declare the yoke is broken. Every negative lifestyle is broken. The rule, the reign. The dominion of iniquity is finished. Number five, the consequences of the fall of man is finished. 
the consequences of the fall of man. When man fell, there were consequences. In Genesis chapter 3, you read all the way from around verse 11, when God began, to, and he said, who, who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten of the tree where I commanded it that thou should not eat? And the man said, the woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree. And from then on, all the way down, it was curses upon curses. Curses the earth for your sake. There were consequences because of the fall of man. But when Jesus Christ came and died and paid the price, when he said it is finished, it means the consequences expired. Am I speaking to anybody here at all? Lift your right hand and say, it is finished. Say it louder, say it still. Say, it is finished. Say, by the death of Jesus, I am free from the consequences of iniquity. You believe us, shall the Lord say amen. What is finished? Number six is the dominion of the devil over mankind. When Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, he left a finished devil, a finished devil. The dominion of the devil over mankind is finished. In 1 John chapter 4 verse 4, he say you are of God little children and you have overcome them because great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The dominion of the devil over mankind finished at Calvary. Every devil that is still sitting on your destiny Today, they are discharged out of your life. If you are saying amen, you will say it like a believer. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Say in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral curse. They say in the name of Jesus. Every power of the enemy is finished from my life. In the name of Jesus. What is finished, number seven, is the rule of the spirit of infirmity. The rule of sickness, the reign. Jesus did not just set us free from our sins. He set us free from our sicknesses. Somebody says that true. Yes, Galatians, sorry. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3 all the way to verse 5. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. Somebody say a loud amen. Matthew chapter 8 and in verse 17. Matthew chapter 8 and in verse 17. That it might be fulfilled. Which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying. Himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. First Peter chapter 2 verse 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his body on the tree. That we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness. By whose stripes, the, by the beatings he received, you are healed. Somebody say, every sickness expire. Can I declare, and will you receive the declaration? Everything in your body that is afflicting your body, tonight I declare their expiring date. Every hypertension, every diabetes, every prostate disease, every ovarian disease, every hepatitis, HIV, sickle cell anemia, Uterine fibroid, every mental affliction. Tonight, I command them to expire. Would you lift up your right hand and say, It is finished? Say, Every pain in my body, you are finished. Expire now. Say every diagnosis around my life. In the name of Jesus. You are finished. Expire. Now. So shall it be. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise as you take your seat. The rule 
of the spirit of infirmity. Number eight is the power of causes and covenants. Ancestral curse, generational curse, family curse. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. We read it earlier on. Christ redeemed us from the curse. You are not permitted to repeat the negative history of your father. You are not permitted to repeat the negative history of your mother. You are not permitted to repeat the negative patterns of your family. Am I speaking to somebody here? By the shed blood of Jesus at Calvary, I declare every curse is hereby broken. The power of curses and covenants. Number nine, the curse of frustration and deprivation. When he told Adam, in the sweat of your face, shall you till the ground. That was a curse. But in Revelation chapter 5 and in verse 12, he said, saying with a loud voice, what is the lamb that was slain to receive weakness and poverty and foolishness? And, and weakness again and disgrace and shame and curses. Is that what he was slain to receive? Read it with me. One to go. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive what? Power and what? Riches and what? Wisdom and what? Strength and what? Honor and what? Glory and what? Those are the things he was slain to receive. Anything you didn't find there, don't accept it. Don't accept weakness. Don't accept curses. Don't accept reproach. Is God speaking to someone here at all? I announce to you today, every cycle of frustration is broken by the power of Calvary. Every cycle, every cycle of pain is broken by the altar of Calvary. Shout the loudest, amen. What is finished, it is the curse, frustration, and deprivation. Finally, number 10, what is finished, the curse of premature death. He died young, so you can live strong and long. Have you ever seen Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9? See what it says. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels. That is, for the sake of death, he took a form that was lower. For the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. The death, he died, how, how old was he? 33 and a half years. The death that should kill you in your young age, he tasted it for you. Somebody say a loud amen. Let's read further. Let's read further. For it became for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Keep going. For both they that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all of one. For which cause is not ashamed to call them his brethren. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the church, will I sing praise unto thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God has given for me, given me, for as much then, as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. Since we are all carrying flesh and blood, he himself likewise took part of flesh and blood so that he will be able to die. Because if he doesn't carry flesh and blood, he cannot die. So that through death, he might destroy him that has the power of death. That is the devil and then what will happen? And deliver people 
who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. It's a complete package. It delivered you from the fear of, the, of death and the death of the fear. It delivered you from the fear of death and the death itself. Tell the death that is coming to carry you. Tell it, Jesus died, died my death. The death I should die, he died it. So I am now permitted to live and fulfill my days. Does it mean you will not die? Oh, you will sleep. The Bible says, they that sleep in the Lord. So, when it is time to sleep, you sleep. When you have fulfilled your days on earth, then you sleep. And the Bible says, those who sleep, sleep at night. Five p.m. is not night. Six p.m. is still not night. Maybe night can start from 7 p.m. 7 p.m. to me looks like 70. We had somebody who is at 8 p.m. Who stood just now and danced for, for one, more than one hour. You will fulfill your days. No arrow of death. No premature. No cancer arrow. No stray bullet arrow. Hey! No ancestral curse arrow. No witchcraft arrow. About 22 years ago, Somebody called me. About 22 years ago. Okay, so I'm talking about 25 years ago. Someone called me and he said, he had a terminal diagnosis. And what he had was no cure, time to go. And he said, just to let you know that this kind of diagnosis exists and looks like it's time to go. And I said to him, it cannot be time to go. I drove all the way to where he was. And I said to him, you will leave. But tell me, if God gives you 30 years, 40 more years, what will you do with it? Picture it. See it. See yourself beyond now. So he saw himself beyond that time. I prayed on a bottle of oil, anointed him, and gave him the balance of the oil. That was how he saw himself beyond that time and exceeded that time. And the diagnosis went back to hell. And 20 something years has passed. Not only still alive, has the potential of another 30 or 40 years or more. I have two of such people in the service here right now, including the very one I, I made the reference of now. Do you understand what I'm talking about? He died. The death that wanted to die you, he died it. <laughs> hey! Somebody stand on your feet and scream, it is finished! Take your seat one moment, take your seat one moment. Now stand up on your feet again and shout, it is finished. (laughs) 
one of our officers was going to fight bandits. He passed through here. He was prayed for. He went into the bandit camp, Jigawa State. No, no. Zamfara State. They had news that the band, bandits had rig they, they intercepted their signal, the bandits' communication. And they have sent for the most dangerous fighters among them to all assemble between the Zamfara and Kaduna border. You see, they, this officer said they were receiving calls from everywhere that they should not move or whatever. Well, they were already on the way. He had three armor tanks. By the time they arrived, they had been ambushed by bandits. He said he began to think immediately, so I'm going to just die like this. My wife, my children. Then now remember, don't you know where you are coming from? Suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophet. He said automatically, he remembered, there shall be no loss. So he said, there shall be no loss. Brothers, sisters, they were in gun power for five hours. Pa, 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 pa. Five hours non-stop of these demons firing non-stop. He says, sir, not one of his soldiers had a scratch. And those demons, non -co they couldn't go free. It, it, preservation is a reality. Preservation is a reality. Preservation is a reality. I announce to you today, you are preserved. You shall fulfill your days. Lift your right hand and say in the name of Jesus, I shall fulfill my days. Help me tell three people around you, tell them you shall fulfill your days. You shall fulfill your days. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise and take your seat. How do you experience the finished work of Calvary? Number one, receive the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross for your life. Receive it. Give your life to Jesus. Become saved. Become born again. Receive that sacrifice. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and in verse 17, it said, if any man is in Christ, it's a new creature. All things are passed away. And all things have become new. Receive that sacrifice of Christ on Calvary for your life. Receive it. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Number two, determine to live for the one who died for you. You want to see the benefit of Calvary determined to live for the one who died. Still 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and in verse 15. He said, And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Determined to live for that one who died for you. Hallelujah. There are many here this morning who are going to say, Pastor, I have lived for, my, for myself all these years. I want to live for Jesus right now. You will see his finished work. Lift up your hands and your voices everywhere you are. Just lift your hands where you are. Lift your hands. Lift your two hands high.
You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Sing, you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Oh Lord. If you want to take a piece of paper to write down something that must finish from your life today. Something, maybe an affliction, maybe a pain, maybe a cycle, maybe a situation. On this night, Jesus said it is finished and Lord, I'm trusting you for this particular situation to expire, to come to an end in my life. Just quickly, do it fast. This brother that is lying down here in an attitude of worship, please just ensure that the purpose for which he is lying down is being fulfilled. You have the paper. You have it. You wave it. Can we all stand up on our feet? Just one moment. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I call to Wave it, wave it, wave it. Father, thank you. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. Jatoto yala 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 yala. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I call. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to you. And Jesus broke every fetal, Jesus broke. 
خلفتا Jesus bro every photo and he said me free we did father thank you because this affliction whatever this represents expires today in the name of Jesus drop it somewhere drop it Either in your bag or your something on the floor or something. I'll tell you what to do with it at the end of the service. But free your hands and lift up your two hands. Free your hands and lift up your two hands. Please, on the galleries, be on your feet standing. Something wants to drop on you. Free your hands. Be up standing on the balconies first and second. Lift your hands up. Don't let anything stop you. Lift your hands up. Oh, bless. Me now, my Savior, I come to thee. Lift it high up now. the hand of the Lord is about to come on you and that hand is to cause whatever is not meant to be there to expire and to release upon you what must be released upon you tonight by the sacrifice of Christ on Calvary lift your hands high when I say the name of Jesus you scream I receive and place the hand on your head and pray in the spirit for a moment father let something drop on the life of your children let fire drop, let power drop, let grace drop. Mashatakala. Lift your hands high. Lift your hands. Just begin to pray in the spirit right now as you receive. You want me to play this? Hmm?
Get your hands high and receive it right now. When I say the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you scream, I receive at the top of your voice. Whatever the devil tried to impose on you expires. And what belongs to you tonight on this, on this, on this, on a night of crucifixion be released upon you. Father, let it be released right now. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus, one, two, and three, I receive, 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 receive. Precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us. Amen. It's a new season for you. Amen. I know there are diverse testimonies already, diverse encounters, but because of our time, we'll hear you shortly in the Sunday service Easter celebration. Dr. Ron will come up again shortly, but before then, we'll have one or two things. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise as you take your seat one moment. Give him a, a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Give Jesus a clap and a shout of praise. Second Chronicles chapter 5, verse 13. And it came even to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpet and cymbals and instrument of music, and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. That then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. Taking us further tonight, we shall be receiving the Lord's trumpeter, Nene Olajide, and Prosper Ochimana.
Hallelujah. It's alive. Hallelujah. Just one moment. Ensure that you hold that paper very soon. I'll tell you what to do about it. We'd like to call up the young man so that he can just minister sharply and then you all will continue. Young man, Ron Kenoli. Yeah. The mic you prepared for him. Hallelujah. <laughs> we give glory to honor, glory and honor to our Heavenly Father. I know that I give glory and honor to Him because He has taken me from the lowest places to the highest places. Up and down and up and down again. God is so faithful. He has never failed me. There have been times when I did not see my way. But he was there all the time. There was times when I didn't understand or know what to do next. But he was there all the, all the time, all the way. When I thought I was by myself, when I thought I was by myself, he assured me that he was with me. Hallelujah. It looks like my band is gone. You deserve the glory. And the honor. So we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. So we lift our hands tonight as we bless. Your holy name, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, Lord you are great, you do miracles. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You deserve the glory and the honor. So, Lord, we lift our hands in worship. As we bless your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. So, Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your name. Lord, you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else, no one else like you. There is, 
Lord, you are great. You do miracles. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. He's the first and the He's the beginning and the He's the Alpha and He's the one who was and is and the one who lived and died and the one who sits at the right hand of the Father interceding for you and he's the ancient of ancient of ancient of ancient of Hallelujah. Everybody sing. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation bow down. And every tongue shall declare every knee shall bow down and worship you will be exalted and your kingdom shall not pass away all the sins of thee blessing and honor glory and power be unto All of creation, all of creation, bow down, and every tongue, every tongue in heaven, shall declare every knee to bow down in worship. You will be exalted, and your kingdom shall not pass away. Oh, ancient of the Oh, play. Love the horn with him. Here we go. Ba, 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 Sing unto, sing unto the ancient of days. None can compare, None can compare to, to your matchless one. Sing, church, sing. sing unto the ancient of days. Every tongue, every tongue in heaven that I shall declare. Every head shall bow down and worship. You will be exalted. Your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days. O ancient of days. O ancient of days. O ancient of days. Lord, we love you and we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready, man? Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go.
Sing on to the right. Sing, sing, sing Come on, let the nation sing Sing on to the Sing on to the Exalted, oh God, and your kingdom shall not pass away. Two more times, every time. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Sing unto the ancient today. Ancient today. As old as you are. As old as you are. That's right. You have never paid a shunt of death as old as you are, as old as you are. You have never failed. You have never changed. You remain the same. Ancient of day, as old as you are, as old as you are, you have never failed. Never failed. Ancient of day, as old as you are, as old as you are. That's right. You have never failed. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, what you've done in our lives, oh God. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Then suck you in, then suck you I'm acknowledging you for who you are, what you've done in our lives, oh God. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Then suck you in, then suck you with you.
One more time. You've got times and seasons in your way. You come from life out of the 
out of darkness. Be upstanding, everyone. You don't need no man. Standing, we have a couple more testimony. I mean, a couple more um, ministrations we couldn't take bear with us because of the time. Also, we had testimonies coming from Rumola in Port Harcourt, woman who had had surgery from breast cancer twice, came into the service. Her name is Sister Chisa, name that started with a C, came to church for the first time last Sunday attended Tuesday, and this is the next service she's attending. And every trace of the cancer has disappeared completely in Rumwala, in Port Harcourt. To God be all the praise. Lift up your papers up right now. Every single trace. All on the gallery be upstanding. In the name that is above every name. I'd like you to begin to speak it out to God. Father, I am asking that this matter will expire from my life today. I declare it finished. It is finished. Open your mouth and speak to God. Lift it up and speak it out to God. In the name of Jesus, lift it high up. When you go back home this morning, pour the oil on it and set it on fire. And in the name of Jesus, Today is the last day you will see the matter in your life. You are praying and trusting God on the behalf of, the, of your children. The testimony for your children is also released for you. In the name of Jesus. Lift your tired. Father, your word said it is finished. We declare every item. On these papers, finished. Can the amen roll like thunder? We declare them finished. Lift them up, wave it. Masha koko balaya In the name of Jesus, lift them high up. The most important thing that must finish in the life of everybody is a matter of sin, a matter of addiction, negative lifestyle. Please don't move an inch. That must be done. 
Leave the paper up. Maybe you have written on your paper already. I'm tired of this drunkenness. I'm tired of this drug. I'm tired of this immoral life. Lift it high up. Everywhere you are, the galleries, the ground floor, the overflow, you are asking for forgiveness for your sins. Pray this prayer with me and all, all over the world and say after me, Lord Jesus, louder, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life. Make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord. No turning back. Forward ever. Backward never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Everyone who prayed that prayer, can I see your own hand up? Wave the hand. All right. Quickly rush to the front here. While the rest of us keep waving your papers up, we are still going to shine our lights, so don't be in a hurry to go. I'll give you the count of 20 so that those on the galleries can also be able to run down forward here. Don't be the last person to come out and don't wait for the first to come. Rush to the front of the celebrations while they come. I'll give you the count of the count of 21. Quickly come forward here. Run, 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 run. Two. More than a conqueror, that's Three. who I am. Keep coming. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Every brother Four. say, I'm a new creation. Five. Keep coming. Keep, coming, keep coming, keep coming. Six. Seven. More than a conqueror, that's Eight. who I am. Lift your voice, say. Nine and ten. Don't move an inch. Keep coming. You can turn your light on, everyone, and your papers up as well with one hand if possible, just like that. While they keep coming, up, you are bound by an addiction of smoking, of drinking, of drug, prostitution, masturbation, any lifestyle you are not happy with. Quickly join us forward as well, or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus? Come. I'll give you another count of 15. One. I'm a brand new man. Two. Keep coming. Hope things have passed away. Three. I'm born again. More than a call. Four. That's who I am. Five. I'm a new creation. I'm a six. Lift your voice, say. Seven. Eight. Hope things have passed away. Nine. Ten. More than a conqueror. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. I'm a new creation. Sixteen. I'm a brand new man. Seventeen. Eighteen. I'm born again. Nineteen. And twenty. Thank you, Jesus. Now, who I'm a new creation. God bless you. Keep coming and wave, your, wave the lights up. Those of you in the front, we are happy to have you. If you are here for the first time as well, join them in the front. Today is your first time in Dynamics Church or you want to be a member. Easter service is combined service by 7 a.m. of Easter Sunday tomorrow morning. It's going to be a full blast service. And before tomorrow morning, we have commanding the day midnight prayers tonight. We are going to be experiencing God like never before. Wave the light and the papers for the final time. Go ahead, wave it with a shout of victory. Louder, louder, shout of victory. Bigger, 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 shout of victory. In Jesus' precious name, I declare today that paper document in your hands is finished as you set it on fire and set it on fl in flames you will never see it forever in your life this as you live here right now your way home is safe all those who travel from distances as you travel back to where you came from you travel back in safety that sleep you will sleep before you wake up it shall be filled with encounters Filled with deliverance. Filled with healing and help. 
so shall it be in Jesus' name. Lift your hands high. Tonight, I am sure that you know that resurrection equals restoration. And so before we step in, crossing into Resurrection Sunday, we shall have a restoration commanding the day midnight prayer. Ensure that you are there. That will usher us into the Resurrection Sunday. Before the sun sets today, God will prove to you that it is finished. Hey! There may be somebody who may need to do a laboratory test. But before the sun sets today, Jehovah will prove to you that it is finished. So shall it be. Go forth and break forth. The Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name. 2024 and above only. And 2024 and above only. What has just happened to you? Just scream, it is finished. What has just happened around your life? What has happened around your life? What happened to the devil? What happened to the afflictions? What happened to the pains? What happened to the struggle? What happened to the battle? It is finished. God bless you. Congratulations. Congratulate three people. Those of us standing in the front, our counselors will speak with you briefly and then let you know what you need to do. God bless you in Jesus' name. Celebrations. Counselors, over to you. You talk to them here. Yeah. You go walk to the sky. That is why your name is called. You are God alone. You are God alone. That is why your name is called. You are God alone. Raise your voice. of God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul and I want to congratulate everyone of us in the front that just gave our life to Christ.